<laughs> from the podcast studio. Beautiful Frackville, Pennsylvania. From, uh, what is it? From areas unknown. From snow dusted Parts Frackville. unknown, sorry. From the streets of snow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Facebook Live, and then later on on YouTube, and then anywhere you can find your local podcast, Spotify, iTunes, the whole shebang, all that good stuff. That's what, This is the first episode, and we're super excited. This is the first episode of Tornado Tag Podcast. Um, so we're going to, we're going to talk a little bit about all things wrestling. Um, my, I'm Anthony Blackwell, obviously you see me in the MMA episodes and stuff to my left here is the champ right here. We have his belt on display. Um, Andy header, Ari, Andy, serious business (laughs) header. Then we have Tyler Budwash. Superb. And that's the guy I plugged in the first MMA mm-hmm. video. He has his own brewery. He's doing really good things in the beer industry and making good beer. Try. And then the there. color commentator of Outbreak Wrestling, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Just Michael. <laughs> My- Michael David or David Michael, whatever you, you want to go by. Do you have a given name? <laughs> if you have a given name, say it. Still by Michael Martin, honestly. It's Michael Martin. Michael, Michael Martin, not Martin. All first name. And they asked me what I wanted to do, and like they literally put me on the spot five minutes before I went up to the table, and I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's just run with it. <laughs> so your, Martin, your, your yeah. color commentating is what? Michael Martin? Yeah, let's just run with it. It was so much easier than then trying to just... Pick a name on the spot. I'm like, screw it. Middle name, last name, go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was Michael. I didn't know if you went by David Michael. Well, we got it, though. We nailed it. So, yeah, we're going to talk. Um, for the most part, we're going to kind of bounce back and forth and run some stuff off each other. I'm mostly going to cover your main roster WWE stuff because um, that's pretty much the most part like I can watch with everything I got going on myself. I'm pulling myself super thin between this and MMA and video games and pop culture and running the podcast and new interviews. Oh, so much. I can't, yeah, and there, like I said, there's so much going on and I think you guys can all agree this is a great, regardless of how much people hate on main roster and WWE and, and how much hate it gets, right now is the best time to be a wrestling fan absolutely there's so yeah. much out there i mean there's absolutely so much out there um you watch a lot of new japan yes you, sir yeah dad new japan would be my favorite by far mm-hmm. uh, because of the in-ring action definitely and uh it, just new japan and wv yeah. <laughs> and the occasional nxt when i catch it that fills yeah. my plate because there's yeah. just tons of wrestling i mean and then for independent wrestling i mean uh what was it uh evolve has their own uh mm-hmm. network now power on tv which uh outbreak is on but gsw which are wrestles on a lot of great independence on power on tv cheap plug um so uh there's tons of wrestling so if you want to watch wrestling it's out there i mean it's crazy even the all women's uh uh, feds in Japan, the Joshi and everything, they have their own networks now. So it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's really nuts. <laughs> and, and Tyler, what do you mostly watch for the most I part? I mean, I'm, I'm there with all, all the mainstays, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, 205 Live, uh, NXT UK. I'm watching it all. So. Yeah, I, I'm i going to make a confession. I, I don't watch 205 Live. Really? I, yeah, does? That's probably one, Second my, thing nobody does. that's probably one of my favorite shows right yeah, now. I mean, it's, it's legit. legit. You don't have to lean in. I mean, the last time yeah. I think I watched 205 Live was when I was forced to after the SmackDown episode that I was at in July. <laughs> yeah. Um, Probably gonna get probably gonna get some hate for this, but I miss Enzo on 205. No, uh, no, no. I do. I, no. I liked Enzo. His 15 I, I, minutes are up. He's done. <laughs> I was an Enzo fan. I'm sorry. He's Ron Ford accused uh, allegedly. Ron Ford. <laughs> we won't get too much into that. And what do you cover for the most part? What do you like watching? Honestly, I have not been watching live main roster. I've been watching a lot of uh, recording on Hulu. Hulu, that's I've been watching DVR. I've got DVR, I DVR a lot of it. Uh, that's the best honestly, part. right now I've been watching a lot of Ring of Honor, New Japan, and believe it or not, Lucha Underground. Love uh, Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground, not even though it's on Netflix. I'm two full seasons behind. Well, I guess they're on four right now. Yeah. I haven't watched three yet because I don't think it's out yet, is it? No. And I just finished two probably back three in is August. On Netflix. Is it? it might be on I Netflix. Think so three, then I might have yeah. to watch that. But, yeah. but Lucha cool. Underground to me has, even though it's more of a soap opera, has some of the best technical wrestling I've seen in a very long time, and I thoroughly enjoy their program. And I tell you what, they do very well at telling a story, but they don't rely too much on the segments and the soap opera segments to tell their story. The wrestlers do a very good job of telling the story in the ring, which I think is a, is, is becoming a lost art. You know, and 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 I think Lucha Underground does that very well. Now I could be wrong. I, I think Lucha Underground is losing its Netflix soon. From what I was reading, I think I, it's going to be uh, strictly. I think the original deal was like for something insane, like twelve seasons. So yeah. I don't know what's going on. I well, hope they don't, because that's my easiest way to watch it. I watched the, the first uh, episode. And that was earlier weird. outbreak uh, shows we had. Uh, late last year I was actually talking to Ricky Reyes and he signed on for a seven year deal well so was Ricochet Ricochet was ten yeah <laughs> he got out of that. That, that worked out yeah. yeah 
And, I mean, Ricochet went to the independent circuit for, what, 60 days before he signed with WWE? And well, he was like, in New right. Japan for a little bit, too. But yeah, he was, was all over. Third time he was in Lucha Underground. Okay. Evolve. But then again, you look at guys like Pac <clears throat> right now. Left WWE just up and quit on him for the most part, and now he's headlining a Dragon Gate. Dra- Dragon Gate, he's and he in. shredded. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say, did you guys so see what he looks right like? Now. I don't know how he's he wellness test anymore. He's <laughs> yeah. whatever you want. He's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> vegan, I, think. I was gonna say just chicken and tuna all day. And chicken, butter. tuna, and a needle, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah. So we got some news here. Um, I want to start off. Obviously, the display picture I used for our Facebook thing. I, I made it black and white because. You know that was a if to the sensitive viewers or the sensitive people on on the on the uh, of my pet channel because there is some people who like to watch the interviews and stuff. So I made a black and white. We put the picture of Becky Lynch up the in the man. crowd, bleeding like a pig, mm-hmm. just showing off. I honestly, I I'm, I'm going to admit it right now. I have not been a fan of f- female wrestling. I was not on the give women a chance oh, ha- t- hashtag. <laughs> women wrestling has sold me. I am I am so f- invested in it. I think it's amazing, and it's not just amazing in WWE. It's amazing everywhere. The, these girls have learned. These girls have put on amazing shows. They're good at what they do. Every now and then they will sneak an older person in there, and I think it shows when it shows a, a legend come in and try to <laughs> wow their chops, and then these newer girls. Um, so, personally, I think now we'll we'll get into the big topic now. The big topic, obviously, Becky Lynch is, is pulled. Whoops, from the um, Survivor Series. I mean, it's not like this belt has not seen beer already, right? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, uh, well, well, Thanks, well, we, can, we can't talk about that. Oh, we're not allowed to talk about oh, yeah, that. Cut, that belt did not see beer. Like, cut the, yeah, cut the, he's cut like, the cut camera. the camera. We can't talk about that. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Scratch. Um, yeah. So, everyone obviously is mad at Nia Jax. Um, for the punch and and they're 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 calling for her career now i'm not super upset with nia Jax. i think she is very green i think she did get moved up quick um i don't think she's terrible i on and I, I could be wrong i never wrestled and i never wrestled with long hair but female long hair and male long hair i think are two different games because you guys can put the oils and the, and the stuff and get it out of your hair but these women are wrestling with boutique perms and it's in their face I, if you watch the footage, Nia Jax turns around. Her, her she literally can't see. Becky Lynch can't see because they're just throwing, and a, a shot connects. I don't think it was intentional, like the internet's making it out to be. No. But I personally think that punch landing, her getting pulled. I have a theory of what I what they should do, but they'll never do it. But I think she blew the roof off of what we see now as female wrestling, and it's only going to get better from there. Like so. Everyone talks about the Attitude Era and when the Attitude Era started, and a lot of people credit it to the to the Stone Cold Austin 316 bloody face Bret Hart that kicked off the Attitude Era. I think Becky Lynch has kicked off the women's wrestling at a level that even Evolution couldn't do. I agree 100 percent on that. Mm-hmm. She's the hottest star in the whole thing now. Yeah, like all all of wrestling, mm-hmm. not just that company, but all of wrestling. Yeah, she's huge. I would say yeah, she's definitely the number one baby face there. But uh, I would say wrestling really got. Women's wrestling mm-hmm. got turned around when they kind of went away from the divas. Yes. And and uh, Bailey and Becky and Sasha were doing their thing in NXT. And yes. And Bailey and Sasha had that great match in NXT table. Like, mm-hmm. what, Brooklyn was Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. reverse Ron off the top rope, and it was mm-hmm. insane. Mm-hmm. And uh, once they started bringing them to Raw, that's when wrestling, women's wrestling, WWE yeah. went up. I mean, TNA is doing their own thing. I mean, there was always Shimmer, which was like all female mm-hmm. ROH, mm-hmm. and there was Shine. And of course, in Japan, women's wrestling is huge yeah. for years. But, uh, I mean, Becky is number one right now, I would say, in popularity, especially her bleeding. It just helped. I don't think Nia meant it. I mean, you can control your punch, but, you know, she's yeah. a little green. Uh, but I think it added to overall, and the fact that she's out of the match is just going to make her more popular now because mm-hmm. <laughs> people are going like, to want to get behind Becky. And uh, when she finally does wrestle around, which is probably going to be WrestleMania, it's going to be awesome because yeah. everyone's going to be into it. 100% behind Becky. So... Not only did she she took the punch, the blood, but her trash talking on social media oh, man. has been unbelievable. I mean, so the first thing Rhonda puts is, you're, "You're a baby. You broke your face. You know. Yeah. Now that I know your face breaks easily, I'm gonna break you in half." <laughs> and Becky responds, and I'm paraphrasing, is, "Yeah, but when I broke, when I got my face broke, I still destroyed half your roster. When you got your face broke, you hid under a blanket for, for six a year. Blanket. Yeah, you hid under a blanket for a that year. Was great. And 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 yeah. So wow." And then Funko Pop, who's just trying to sell toys, mm-hmm. puts out, you could own your own Ronda Rousey today. And Becky Lynch responds, I already own Ronda Rousey. 
<laughs> like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. It. Becky changing her twiddle handle to the man. And with them literally trying to heel flip her, and we all knew it was coming. It was blatantly obvious at what they did. They knew it was coming. And somehow, someway, it feels like it failed. Because she's still so over that she's basically a baby face trying to be a heel. Mm-hmm. Well, we have a generation now where I, I call it the Hulk Hogan effect, where you had the Hulk Hogan thing where the, you, you try to make the super, super baby face. And then they did it with um, John Cena, and then they tried to do it with Roman Reigns. I think the fans are over that type of character, Does and it, they're showing that they like anymore. they like the bad guy, but they like they but they don't like, to my opinion, the true bad guy. Like I think when a true bad guy shows up, they don't know how to handle it, and then the fans who still even like him, they still play into the we were supposed to hate him, and they keep the chance going because like Champa. Mm-hmm. Everyone roots for Champa, but they still do the F you Champa yeah. chance. He got out of the building, yeah. and then the next thing you know, everyone's cheering for him. Yeah. So, so they want to cheer, but the fans are keeping that alive, that old school, which what I love. I personally love it. Um, but yeah, the Becky Lynch thing, um, I'll get into my theory, and you guys can tell me if you agree or not. So mm-hmm. Becky leaves. I think she gets cleared, but I think they're, the whole storyline they're going to do is she's not cleared, and I think they're going to say you got you got to strip. You're gonna, we're going to strip you of your title. I think that's the next move they do. I think they strip her, and I think she does something where she loses it and either gets suspended or fired. Okay. Then she enters in the Royal Rumble on just she gets signed for a contract, like say Stephanie gives her a contract because she she wants her to be the one to beat Ronda. Throws her in a contract, but not for any brand, just just to be on Royal Rumble and says, Here's your chance. She comes in at one, she gets all the way to thirty, and it ends it with her and Nia Jax in the cage in the ring, mm-hmm. and she like manhandles Nia. Nia throws her out of the ring and then goes for Ronda's title at Mania at Raw. That's my theory. Hmm. I have actually two Raw guys winning the Raw, I mean SmackDown people winning the Rumble this year. My other one is AJ, okay. and then he goes on to fight Lesnar and, and regains the Raw title. Well, you think Nia beats Becky? No, I think it comes down to Nia and Becky. And Becky the, destroys and Nia and then, and then wins <coughs> the Rumble. Yep. That's my theory. I don't think they'll book it that way, but if it happens, you hear it here first. I don't, I don't <laughs> think they're going to take the belt off Becky. I think she's going to keep it because, you know, she can do the argument, well, Brock wrestles and yeah. wins it every Yeah, yeah once it's supposed to be every 30 days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Title. But I think that just builds her heat more. It, it, it would if, if it's a book fire, her. you know, that she beats up Shane or yeah. something by chance, you know. I mean, that would lead to a... You know, Stephanie brings her back. That's a Stephanie Becky match down the mm-hmm. road. But I think definitely her and Ronda at WrestleMania. I think that's the direction. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the way to go. And even if she doesn't beat Ronda, R- Ronda's about to get beat. Yeah. And then Blazer and then the other four horsewomen come in and interfere and help, be- help Becky lose. And the next week, well, around that time is when the smack everything's going to Fox. Yeah. And they're talking about getting rid of the brand yeah, split right anyway. Up. So then they can just say the four horsewomen are actually coming. The, the real four horsewomen are coming after the fake four horsewomen. Yeah. And they can, <laughs> they can run that angle for that whole year. So See, my theory about Shannon Baszler is this. If they wanted to call her up, she would have been in the last round of call-ups instead of Nikki Cross. She the title, yeah. Yeah, they slapped the title back on her for a reason because I don't think they think she's ready. She's doing amazing. She is doing phenomenal in NXT, but I... Well, not necessarily. I don't think she loses the title of this pay-per-view. Right. Right. I don't think she loses. I think she retains. I do think, so? I think she I think retains. She retains. You, you keep going that uh, stable that doesn't have a name yet. Her, mm-hmm. uh, Marina, and what's the other one's name? Uh, uh, sure. I couldn't tell you. Duke? Jessamine Duke, Jessamine Duke Jessamine and Marina Shafir. There we go. Okay, yeah. well, they're, they, they're, they're, they're way not by, ready yet. Yeah. So, they're uh, going by the four horsewomen, but yeah. I mean, if they're going to push somebody... I think they'll have a stable name if they're Sh- Shayna's yeah. aces or something like that. Mm-hmm. And they, they need yeah. to work that for a while because yeah, they're right. definitely not ready. Shayna is, but they're two ain't, but I think they're going to bring them up together. Mm-hmm. If so anything, fashion. you could have brought up Kyrie Sane right then and there because I think she's main roster ready. I think she is because you know, she's been wrestling in Japan for years. The only problem, she is a little small. Like mm-hmm. She's Sasha size, maybe a little mm-hmm. smaller. And uh, Vince just doesn't know what to do with Japanese people. And Not I mean, to say he's racist, he's just he <laughs> no, don't know what to do. He has a hard time. There's a history of it. I mean, it I mean yeah. he put them both over at this past year's Royal Rumble, and what happened to them since? Poor both Oscar. lost. Poor um, Oscar. They've been <laughs> You're absolutely right. Poor Oscar. 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 Since then. Yeah, Oscar, I mean... Got I, it. I would love because they don't know what to do with Oscar. I think after this brand split, I would love to see her and Amber Moon rival. 
and, and kind of squash that in the main roster. I think that the Royal Rumble, was, uh, not the, the the female All Royal Rumble, was telling when she finally threw Oscar out and she did like the I finally got one up on her mm-hmm. face. And I, I think Ember Moon. The only problem with Ember Moon right now is you have Ronda Rousey with that belt. So that's that's gonna kill Ember Moon's push. But I mean, right along with Becky, in my opinion, Ember Moon is fire. That girl is good. She has the best finisher in wrestling. I feel. Stunner off the top rope. Yeah. Uh, total clips of yeah. the heart. Oh, <laughs> It's Honestly, so I can see Ember Moon being that woman that they take the belt from Ronda and give it to her. See, I think if anyone is Charlotte. Yeah, I think it's Charlotte, too. I, say. I say Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte, on Charlotte, Charlotte or now Becky. Yeah, well, Charlotte wins always, the Girls Rumble. He always win the Rumble, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. But they're saying now the main event in WrestleMania is going to be Becky versus Ronda, mm-hmm. which yeah, probably should be. It should be now hot. That So Russell then Becky Sunday. would win the Rumble. Yeah. I mean, the, the Heat, whether it's real or not, which it's probably not, no, just, I don't. <laughs> the way they're building this heat, this could go on for six months up into WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. They can easily roll with this and take this to another level and possibly give one of the best women's matches in Royal Rumble, or excuse me, WrestleMania history. <laughs> that wouldn't be hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I said, the, the talent in the women's division is unbelievable. Um, so now getting to the next little bit of news, TV news for the main roster, um, Daniel Bryan with a shocker heel turn and, and a title win on SmackDown. And he wins it around the same time as AJ beat Ambrose, and he wins it the same way Ambrose lost to AJ with the low blow. Mm-hmm. Around this, uh, about the same time, really? right? It's hey, like, no, it was he, he won right before Survivor Series. I gender, it was yeah, gender, gender, gender. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he beat Ambrose for what title was that? When he low blowed Ambrose and he took that title. Was that the main? Was that the other title? Probably, I think the U.S. title because I think he's yeah, U.S. champ. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. So yeah, he loses his title. Mm-hmm. Low blow. Daniel Bryan heel turn. Does he come out? Is he? Does he change to the dragon? Or do you think he just stays no, Daniel Bryan? I don't Bryan think they'll ever use American Dragon yeah. ever. No. Uh, I don't think they know what they're doing. I think it's kind of Becky's hurt and she's out. <laughs> Roman's out. What do we do? Yeah. Uh, apparently, they said he wanted to be heel for a while. I don't. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't believe He just that. fits the role. Like the way after he did, he looked down on the ground. He had that grin on his face. It just looked like that's what you should be right now. Like his yeah. hair is in his face. Yeah. Big ass beard, but like that's a, him. Like, a heel Daniel Bryan versus a heel Brock Lesnar. Everyone's gonna cheer Daniel Bryan. So. Some people are saying it's punishment for not going to Crown Jewel. They're gonna I, put him. I, I, they're I, gonna put him against yeah. Lesnar. And That'd be. Well, look what happened last could. time that they threw le- somebody to Lesnar. That was Randy Orton, and Randy Orton needed twelve stitches and a couple staples. Oh yeah, the match lasted like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Randy Orton agreed to those elbows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was so, bad. I don't, I don't think it's punishment at all. Yeah, like, just, I, I, it's scary to me. I mean, some the, new match. The know? guys have issues with his head. Yeah. You're going hey, to you're, you're take at least thirty suplexes. Yeah, so get ready. Yeah, but I, I. I Danielson has to win because uh, if, he, if he beats Brock, he has so much to gain. Brock beats Brian, who cares? And, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Brock is another Brock. I, I, I would, sure. you know, if I was He's a Batman, man, I'd say Brock's going to win. Yeah. Um, I heard people talking that at the end, uh, it's going to be Brian going with Heyman then or something. That would be nice. So they're, Or he's going to line with both of them, Heyman in the middle, holding up to the, both champs. Well, that would be something different yeah. at the end. So I wish, I wish Heyman would have... Uh, would have done the Nakamura Asuka thing and kind of formed his own like yeah. Japan style wrestling yeah. like, kind of like a new Japan rip off and like even call it something yeah. like that like, something like extreme Japan or yeah something. I would I think that would have been amazing I wanted him to side with Roman at the end of Wrestlemania how great would that, that would have been, been awesome Roman beats Brock awesome. because uh, Paul E gives him the knuckles and that's yeah. how he wins it's like oh but no, <laughs> no don't have to so another that. another big not a huge turn in character but it is a turn in character um, one of my personal favorite Mid card guys who I really like um, just turns face without just kind of out of the blue. (laughs) Elias, Elias turns baby face. Um, To me, that guy is gold. Maybe I just have a soft spot in my heart for the guitar guy, and like (laughs) I think the guy's good in the ring. I think he's a good get up, a guy, good good stick. Um, Even though it's something we've seen before, it's not in a way. Yeah, yeah, but it's he's great. He has a great look. I mean, he's, and he's, he's so, powered up Seth Rollins. He's so <laughs> savvy. I, if you take him and then Seth Rollins and Tony Nese, it's like oh, yeah, it's like the a, evolving thing. Yeah, yeah. Like an old, <laughs> altered beast. When you get in there, little Jack guy, you get more Jack into yeah. the werewolf. Um, yeah, he he is just Elias is serious. I like Elias a lot. He's one of my favorites on the like when he comes on TV, I get excited. <laughs> and now that he's face. 
I, I'm not a fan, but he's kind of like that face heel. Mm-hmm. But he's going to win matches now as a face, which I'm excited for because the guy needs it. Yeah, he's like a face now, but he's in the same exact role as he was when he was yeah. a heel. So, like, nothing really so changed. So now he's like kind of crapping on the crowd. He craps on the guy on the, the ring. Yeah. Yeah. And then he kind of throws some kind of, like, like cheap plugs to the crowd <laughs> yeah, yeah. to get some you know, yeah. like when he was when he was in Manchester he played uh, wh- uh, the White Stripe band <laughs> and then the crowd down. lost it uh-huh. like if there's any guy who does his research on the town he's in to get it's either Elias, a boo sure. or a cheer like in Seattle oh, that when was, he made part of the basketball yeah. team and him and Kevin Owens couldn't talk <laughs> the wow. problem with his and he's like you know his interview skills are probably at a 10 because he's really good but then mm-hmm. in the ring it's like a 4 yeah like, like, he's uh, a big guy he, he wrestles like a, a left, athletic yeah, like big Bruce guy yeah like Bruce Pritchard said and then that bell has to ring yeah because like his matches be short and sweet because he isn't that good <laughs> like, yeah. so I mean that's the only thing that's holding him back is his in ring is just not there yeah I'll tell you what on that on that Raw Elias is filling a huge void but Man, I miss I miss my boy KO. Yeah. I miss Kevin Owens, and he left. I mean, if you want to talk about a face turn, he kind of left as a face. The crowd was behind him and kind of forced Lashley to do his heel run because the whole crowd didn't know Lashley was turning heel at the end of that match, mm-hmm. yeah. and the crowd was was chanting KO and and fight 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 Kevin fight, and then at the end Elias. Kind of, I mean, they kind of did the heel turn anyway. But I mean, if you think about it, he left as a face. He left with a knee injury, so. Maybe there is a push for for Kevin Owens when he comes back. I don't believe it, but I hope I hope it happens because I I do enjoy Kevin Owens a lot. Well, if he comes back and then uh, Sami Zayn's ready, they bring him back as a tag team. Finally. I forgot all about Zayn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's been gone people. for like <laughs> ever. They forget about a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> back at Steen uh, and and, uh, and Elgin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you got to remember, Sami Zayn had two. Two, yeah. So he's out. He's also after us. He, he he destroyed his shoulder. Cheering before he got into the ring yeah. to fight John Cena, yeah. like poor guy. Yeah, what a, when he did the injury, he, he established the first one a few weeks prior. And then he injured the other one in this final match before he went out for surgery. He's going out for surgery after that match, anyways. Yeah. So now the fact that he's out, Kevin Owens is out with an injury. Not sure if it's time off or an injury. Yeah, he, somebody he had surgery on something. I need. I think he needed uh, on his knee. So let's be honest. Let's let's break the rules here a little bit. Those two have been best friends for how many years? Yeah. Those two are gonna come back together. Those two are going to run right through the main roster to either a tag team title match or both of them are going to have a singles title push when they come back. <laughs> I can see tag titles. I can see tag titles. I can see tag titles just because I don't think Owens has that yet. I think Owens is only the intercontinental away from a Grand Slam, right? Did he have that? I thought he had it too. I think, he did. Yeah. I think he's like one of the He needs the tag team titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think he was ever a tag yeah, So if he gets tag tagged, it was ICUS yeah. I mean, that guy, if you want to talk about paying your dues, the things he did and the spots he took for Strowman to put him over yeah. mm-hmm. were crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, the porta potty thing was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Chocolate sorry bars. if you ever see this. I laughed. Yeah. I laughed at the porta potty thing. It looked like it hurt. Yeah, yeah, and people are like it was a stunt double. It wasn't. No, he he. No, he, 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 he was in that porta potty. Yeah, that hurt. I don't care how. There's no like. How did you just brace yourself or you just take it? Like, you gotta brace yourself somehow. I mean, he took, he took the fall off the ladders into yeah. the dumpster. He did the old Channel Mac Steve Blackman fall. Yeah. He did the Hell in a Cell spot. Like, I mean, that dude has taken some bumps mm-hmm. for that company. He's great. He's great on the mic and yeah. in the ring. You know, Sami Zayn great in the ring, but not so much in the mic. So that's yeah. why as a tag team they do really well. And his look is tough. Sami Zayn's yeah. look is tough. I, that's why El, El Generico would be much better, mm-hmm. I think, on the main roster. But I think the fans always come enough. back. He owns the gimmick, so they always come back. I mean, back. he got these once in NXT. Yeah, he did one time. And did I was, he? Yeah, yeah when he first Bailey. signed, I think. Him and uh, no, he, had, he was not allowed back in NXT as part of a stipulation with Bo Dallas being the champion. He came Bo in Dallas as him? El Generico. <laughs> yeah, remember Bo Dallas? He came in as El Generico, beat Bo Dallas, and, you know, kind of the Hogan when he was the Patriot, but he wasn't the Patriot. Yeah, the, the shush. Uh, takes the mask off, and, oh, hey, it's Sammy Zayn. <laughs> but the indie fans knew, and they loved right, it. Right. Um, so getting into the next little bit of topic here, we got Lesnar. Um, obviously, he retains at um, yeah. <laughs> he retains at Crown Jewel. Spoiler alert for her, who haven't watched that. Matt I actually didn't it. watch it yet. I watched. I watched up to the tag title match. I watched bits and pieces. That was, that was yeah. at New York Comic Con when it was on, and we were like, "Let's put it on a little bit." Or no, it was not that. It was the air show? The Super Show was on. Sorry. And uh, all I cared about was yeah. was the last match because I'm a, I'm a Sean guy. I don't. I don't want to see both. I didn't watch it. I, just, I love Sean. It looks so awesome. Yeah, with the shaved head. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the shaved head look only because I just rather you let it go than try to keep it. Yeah, I mean you would have had the Hogan basically. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, so Lesnar Lesnar retains. Now that that leaves it up in the air because now he's talking about UFC. He he just wins a title. The rumors are he's on con- under contract. No one knows the contract, but he's under contract for they say at least till WrestleMania. If he defends until then, they have they three s- shows. Yeah, he did what one, two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and he's supposed so, to fight in January in I the think, UFC, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't if, they want to do him and Cormier? Isn't that? I don't the think that's, that's the plan. Match. Is it? That's still, supposed to be the it's plan. Still the plan. Yeah, it's still the plan. It's still the plan. No, sorry, wrestling fans, we're getting a little UFC here. Well, well that's as far listen, as I can go. Uh, <laughs> wrestling <laughs> fans, if you don't like it, you got to suck it up because all my UFC people had to listen to some wrestling talk. So you're just gonna have to deal with it right now. It is part of the news. Um... That belt does not see the octagon. I'm sorry. There's no Maybe. way Vince lets that belt does see Paul the octagon. E. Why doesn't he, though? Yeah. That's... Paul E. comes down with him. And so here's the thing. Wrestling? What you, what's he going to do? Didn't Step in the octagon, rip the microphone away from Bruce Buffer, and do his introduction? Well, I, That'd be great. I, yeah. Just stand outside. I don't think it. Paul Heyman shows up. But I think he sh- I, I think maybe on the way down or a shot in the locker room, you will. if it's there, if he has the title by then, you will see it. Well, who's the guy um, that called him out and said, bring the belt, I want to win it? Dan- Daniel Corbin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I mean... So- I just don't what, see not? that belt ever seeing the octagon. I think Vince has too much pride to. I let don't. It. See, it's over thing. now. Vince, Vince is very, very open armed to accepting MMA fighters to you to WWE. WWE is not too keen on. I mean, obviously, the purest MMA fans when they see Lesnar show up, they hate it. Yeah. When they see Punk show up, they hated it. When they see when they seen Tito and Rampage and Chuck Liddell, uh, not Chuck Liddell, um, Ken Shamrock and Dan the B. Severin and Tank. When they seen their guys go to wrestling, they hated it. Like no matter how much they loved those guys before, that put a black eye on them. For for the purest MMA fans, it was not good to them. Wrestling fans accept MMA. And they accept WBA. The purest MMA fans. Now, no. I would say I'm a purist, but I also still love my roots where I came from in wrestling. Um, they don't like the mix and match. Um, the it thing is, it well for Bobby Lashley though when he was in TNA. Yeah, I, Bobby Lashley is an amazing heavyweight at 15 and two. Mm-hmm. But now that he signed with Vince again. Vince will not let him compete in an octagon. Well, it's well the difference is Lashley now. fought in in a, in a federation <laughs> in a league that kind of fed him some Strike Force, was it? Or was Strike it? Force oh, Bellator, Bellator. Strike he did Strike Force and Bellator. And I mean, let's be real, when they had Herschel Walker, they know who to put in the ring with you, so you're just, gonna win. Just job MMA guys. Yeah. So. yeah. UFC, I mean you can give Lesnar his credit. I think he was handed a title with Couture. Couture was old and he wanted a challenge and he took his, and Couture wanted a money fight. Um, then he kind of skated by, he lost to Frank Mir. Then he beat Frank Mir because he realized, boy, I'm a really good wrestler if I just take him down and pound him out, which should be Lesnar's plan all the time. But he That's doesn't. The then face. he tried to stand and bang with a few different guys. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, he he had he 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 has potential to be good, but he also has potential to be really really bad. Um, he doesn't like taking a punch, no, at all. Um, but like I said, he has great wrestling. Like everything about him is he can do both. Obviously, he couldn't do NFL, but he tried. <laughs> um, he tried. He sold the jerseys. <laughs> the problem is is um, he they don't know if he's going to make the USADA testing yet. That's still in the air. He entered uh, two months ago or something. He entered. Be in for so long. And he looks like shit right now. He too. entered, uh, but there, it's all flabby. But USADA can pull stuff like if it's in your system for even a hair. I mean, it gets detected. So th- that's been very, very hush hush about what's going on with his USADA, which is very skeptical to me because USADA is very open about talking every about if you test and there's a hint, it's out the next day. Yeah. So. That might be the reason he might decide a contract to give him more time. Who knows? But he, he who knows what's going to happen there? But I think he shows up at the UFC. I think if he shows up against Cormier, he's screwed. Cormier is going to Cormier is going to do some bad things to him. Um, and then does he go back to WWE? Who knows? I mean, back I personally the whole time. Yeah, I yeah. personally, I hope he just leaves. I, I'm tired. I look. A lot of people are tired of yeah, matches. And it's just the one you kind of see more now. Yeah, the loss, you the, defend the title, especially once every as the title holder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you show up when you feel like showing up, you defend the title. When was the last time that the any championship on Raw was defended weekly? Well, yeah, well, it's, I don't think that's been I mean, defended weekly. Roman. But Roman did hate, defend hate him or love him. I mean, I wasn't a fan of Roman's booking. But I was a fan of his work ethic. He was there every week. He, he did his thing. His first night back, he fought Finn Balor, which was a great match. I mean, it ended with, uh, I think, it did it end DQ at the end there? I forget. I, I don't remember. think it ended clean. No, it no, ended with a spear. Roman won it. But someone came down. Braun Strowman came down, and there was a little bit of, like, interference, but not interference. Yeah, like, he distracted him. But, um, yeah. 
So kind of going into Braun, kind of quick segue. Um, supposedly he's wrestling hurt, wrestling with some a knee he's, issue, right? Yeah. yeah, they're saying, and they also say he, he has some heat backstage. Yeah. So that, which maybe that's why they didn't give him the title at Crown Jewel. Yeah, which I think they should have. And he's Braun, over. But, he's over. Yeah, I heard like the heat thing isn't so much legit. Uh, I did buy it. But the, the actual he is hurt. He's been working hurt. He's been on. He's been on the road. He walks weird every week yeah. for how long now? And he's working two, three house shows a week mm-hmm. on top of Raw. Yeah. Here's the thing I like about Strowman. A lot of big guys don't take bumps. They're the big guy. They go out and give the bumps. For the most part, Braun Strowman takes a, a beating. Oh, he will, yeah. Yeah, and he's willing to do that. I, I, I think if he stays relevant and he stays doing what he's doing now, a lot of big guys in WWE don't tend to last very long. You got a guy like they, he shows up. I look amazing. I look a big monster. I get my head too big, Nathan and then I Jones. disappear. Who? Uh, cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have Ryback. You have these big guys who show up. The they Ryback. look like they could be the next Lesnar, Mason and they Ryan. just vanish. <laughs> yeah, but if you're gonna go. The little, Braun Strowman paid his dues. He came up through the system, mm-hmm. did it the right way. He's 6'8", 385 pounds. And super athletic. He got a lot better, too. I've never seen a man his size. Well, have you ever seen the Big Show throw a drop kick? No. When he was the giant. Yeah. That was, supposedly, yeah. supposedly I, I was listening to another good, if you're, if you're a wrestling fan, you like listening to stuff, um, and you have Sirius, Satellite, uh, Sirius XM Radio, Bust it, open. Bust it Open is a great Channel show. 93 on Sirius XM. I have to give all my fight. props to Tyler here, because he always Snapchats me videos <laughs> of someone talking, and he's like, this guy effing sucks. <laughs> and I'm like, Enzy. Yeah, yeah. So Enzy. <laughs> Howard Stern. Yeah. I know. So, Same guy falls asleep every time he's on the phone. <laughs> like, let's go out to Hansy in Toronto. And yeah. He's snoring. But, uh, yeah, Hansy calls into the one I listened to. It was uh, Live Audio Wrestling, and mm-hmm. now it's a Sunday Night's Main Event. And he yeah. And he's always up there. So they, their, their big thing is that um, Braun Strowman told them uh, that he can actually do a moonsault. <laughs> that he has a lot more in his repertoire Maybe. that he didn't show yet. I mean, if so. he could, why not? <laughs> So I just got the 30 minute mark. We're not even close. To, no. I, this is, I'm, if you're into this show, it's going to run long. So <laughs> I mean, Andy can vouch for this one. Uh, Martial Law pushing almost 400 pounds doing a swanton bomb. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of guy, big guys that can do yeah. awesome moves. Shout Keith out Lee to, is one. Shout yeah, out to him. Freaking beast. Yeah. Keith Lee is going to be the next big thing on the main roster when he gets. I haven't seen that. much of him. When he gets that call, believe it or not, I have tremendous amount of faith in Keith Lee to possibly be that next guy. Into the future, unless yeah. booking, booking, booking is your worst enemy. Yeah. There. So then, no, if coming from NXT is your worst. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. When you get to the main roster, Apollo Crews. A lot exactly. That's, that is actually a new new thing I was going to bring up too. So I'm going to try to get to the news a little quicker. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, talk wrestling for hours. Yeah, 100. Well, percent Like I want to try to speed up, but I don't want to make it unnatural because this is a good topic and we're having a great time. And this is exactly why I got used for at this table. And the I, obviously Chris couldn't make it tonight, and neither could Austin. But I, these guys are interchangeable. I mean, put one in, put one out these are when i talk wrestling these are guys i want to talk with uh, they're awesome and this is great but um we were talking about aj losing the title and then also uh, he also dropped from the mix max tag t- the tag match um does he need time off is he injured uh, who knows that's that was a big thing too i it's weird to me that he quick dropped it before SummerSlam. um you could also say that Slam maybe sense. maybe just because he didn't want him to lose the lesnar again two times in a row because my personal opinion, and I think he deserves every second of it, I think they're padding his stats. They don't want him to go into another loss with Lesnar. I think they're trying to make that guy to be the next guy that they can say in their company, like he's the next Sean, he's the next Stone Cold, and they want to they want to put more things on him to, to get that accolade. Um, I think, like I said, I think he goes in the Rumble, and I think he, he wins it just to go to Smack, back to Raw, but then that leaves the... SmackDown's going to be now. I mean, hate it, hate it or love it. It's going to be the new A show. They're going to put the money into Fox. Yeah, once once the Fox show starts, SmackDown's yeah. where it's. At. I would have said two weeks ago, Brian Danielson or Brian Daniels or Brian Daniel, whatever his name. Brian. Yeah, Daniel Bryan. Brian. Yeah, that. <laughs> I would say he would have won the Royal Rumble, and Miz wins the title from AJ, and that's your WrestleMania match. I, but now I, I have no idea. I, I I thought that since like May. I'm yeah, like, that's yeah. definitely happened already. But now I want Miz. Now. I know we talked about it a little in the chat, and everyone's yeah. like, no, no, no. But I think Miz is that guy who could play that heel slash anti-hero villain he face baby face whatever you want to call it i i think if you talk about paying dues Miz literally had a kid took a week off and came right back took he, three days off three days yeah, off three days like off. that guy he has his own tv show now he's paying his dues mm-hmm. that guy needs a title and stuff last year i've said this to you numerous times Miggy before Cena. no matter how much you could hate the Miz's character how much you could hate him all this 
every time the Miz is in the ring, it's almost guaranteed you're getting a four to five star match with the Miz. Yeah, the dude just works and works and works, and, and the, he and deserves so much more credit and potentially another title push. Mm-hmm. I think he deserves. It was terrible, but then like the past couple of years, he got much better. But the stuff with Nikki Bella and John Cena last year, that was awesome. He did call. Yeah, he, yeah. Said this, he said it's all a bit of a publicity stunt. Yeah. I said, said when they did that, he said, get Dan- belt. he said Daniel Bryan needs to turn into a bad guy. <laughs> the Miz has been calling it. He's the, he's the Mystic Mac of the WWE world. Um, Segue again. Um, we're getting into the the once again the amazing pay per view of Crown Jewel. Uh, quick Love note it. here: these are these last couple ones are pretty quick. Um, Triple H tears his peck. Bi- his bicep, peck. his pec, yeah. something. Yeah, was yeah he, he took a pretty nasty fall. He's going through surgery. Um, does it mean anything? Not really, because mm. he's not yeah, active. Yeah. Well, they said yep. Batista and him are going to have a yeah, match. Yeah, he'll be back yeah. just in time yeah. for. Uh, <laughs> If it's a great Batista, fight with Batista at WrestleMania, I, I don't care. That's Everyone's a, looking forward to it. That's a bathroom break for me. Sorry, I mean, WWE. That's a bathroom break for me. If he could somehow me. wrestle as Drax, then it'd be... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd be a little more interested. Um, this is probably the biggest, to me, biggest wrestling news. Um, if you have a beer, put them up, ladies and gentlemen. We have a, we just Cold. lost we just lost the legendary <laughs> beer drinker, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, so what did he say? Swig, swig a beer for the working man? Yeah, he <laughs> he he is no longer on the booze, and he switched to weed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he did yoga. Yeah, and that's yeah. how he's. Uh, so Stone Cold he feels great. Stone Cold is now taking bong shots, and he's doing <laughs> yoga. It's hanging out with Van Damme. The, Robert, yeah, man. the most the most redneck, badass. Austin three sixteen said. Has now turned into a hippie. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing yoga and smoking weed. Austin four twenty. <laughs> yeah, he's Austin four twenty. Make that shirt. Whoever that company is that we bought the Becky Lynch. Yeah, Austin four twenty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll be out. So yeah. I just smoked your ass. I That's what RBD smoked. used to say back in like ninety seven. Yeah, the ECW shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, another another kind of thing here. Uh, it's a contract year coming up for some big guys, and not just main roster. So this is probably the only news I have. Maybe besides one other thing that's not main roster related. Um, so a lot of a lot of a lot of elite guys are going to be up for up for bids this year. You got Omega, you got the Bucks, Cody. Um, one of the New Japan st- a lot of New Japan stars have, are up as well. Um, one of the big ones, NATO, was offered a contract. The story is they I, I offered they offered him to a they, they he sat down for a dinner with some executives at his favorite cafe at his favorite Tokyo. cafe in Tokyo. <laughs> he sat down. He had a conversation. They gave him his offer. He said, excuse me real quick, I'm going to use the bathroom, and left. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. If, you, if you've ever watched uh, New Japan, you know L.I.J., Los Ingrinables, De Hopon, you know Naito, then that fits his character. I'm not sure that story is, but it's awesome. And I if hope it's, it's true. So if awesome. it's a tenth of yeah. a true, it's he, awesome. He said, why would I want to leave New Japan when I'm already in the best wrestling company in the world? So, yeah. I mean, he's getting paid good. He lives in Japan. He's yes. Japanese. Yeah. So I want Naito to say, I don't want him to leave because I mean, he got tired of coming soon. It's tough to, to, to make a push to leave a company that you're not really doing a good job pushing the new Japan talent Mm-mm. unless you're a white guy yep. <laughs> yeah you know I mean and it, it's I mean Okada had the belt for you know what 700 and some days or whatever it was yeah so I mean I mean Naito lost to Okada at Wrestle Kingdom I could go on and on about new Japan mm-hmm. so, uh, but he's gonna obviously get his title shot soon I mean maybe not this Wrestle Kingdom but that's gonna be uh, Tanahashi WrestleMania. Who's who's Let's wrestling see. Jericho for the title? Uh, Naito. It's actually Naito, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Jericho versus uh, Naito for the IC title at Wrestle Kingdom. It's it's January fourth. It's always it's January rematch 4th. that he's own. Yeah, which yeah. I believe Naito will win the title. I think he, has he takes that it back. Gimmick where he doesn't like that belt. He doesn't care about that belt. But I think this time he will. Yeah. And then he'll say he'll defend that title and build up, build up, and then say he wants a world title shot mm-hmm. against. I think Jericho um, drops it. I think Jericho made his point. He got his title. He doesn't need it. He so. doesn't need it. He's over. No. He's, he's a, now, this is coming from, once again, the biggest Shawn Michaels mark you'll ever see in your life. I had my top three for the longest time, who I thought the top three greatest were, and I have a, I have a trend of the type of wrestlers I like. Um, I had it. one, Shawn, two, Flair, three, Jericho. <laughs> Jericho, I mean, he, he, he's made a push for number one. Like the year he's had and the career he's doing, I think there's still more in Jericho's arsenal that we're gonna not know about, and I think he's gonna change the the world of wrestling. 
Like he's been like I yeah. mean he just did his own cruise where they had live wrestling on a cruise ship. Yeah, and and not only was it like live wrestling, but it was wrestling that happened that fans that weren't on the cruise gave a shit about. Yeah, yeah. Like they're like, what happened to not cruise? Mm-hmm. Like that's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. What, is, what was it called? Uh, the Rock and Rager. Yeah, Seas of Avengers. Something. Or Street uh, Avengers. Avengers. Sea of Honor yeah. wrestling tour. Honor. And the funny <laughs> thing is, you can go to Fight TV and you can watch it Cheap for plug. twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah. A lot of good plugs here if you're into wrestling. Yeah, it's um, just out the, the hour of cheap plugs. But uh, the Sea of Honor tour, uh, a friend of mine was actually on the tour, said between the conversations and everything that happened on that tour with uh, the Q&As, the wrestling, this, that, and the other. And they, they walked around their ship like they were normal yeah. people. You could just hang it out was, with them. Get a picture with them. They literally said it was the most down-to-earth people in wrestling you will ever meet in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they were having fun. Did you see? I see the, the tag match, the ROH versus... Uh, Alpha Club versus no the no not that one it was all right. ROH Impact and uh, the, the, it was basically the elite oh. they're all Super Mario characters yeah I did not know <laughs> no, so, ex- so, so the Bucks were Mario and Luigi real quick and uh, Hangman was Yoshi and they do a spot where <laughs> Hangman's up on the top rope and he does the Yoshi kick and like does a, a double axe and then like <laughs> for the for the hot tag they tag in uh, I guess it would be Nick and he gets uh, Hangman's there he's Yoshi Nick gets or uh, not Nick Matt gets on Yoshi's back and they run around and do the spot he's clotheslining people so Mario's clotheslining on Yoshi's back so that was pretty cool <laughs> I love it I love it love gimmick stuff like that um another quick new japan main roster thing um two tweets have been going out uh omega has been in talks like he obviously said you know he, he his tweet was if he doesn't or his interview he did if he doesn't end his career or at one point in time on wbe he feels like he didn't do it all it's the bucks have also been on record of saying that and they asked him who he want to wrestle on the main roster and he said he said seth rollins which to me Seth Rollins is up there as one of the as one of the best in the business right now. He puts on great matches. I Top like ten him. wrestlers in the world. Yeah, I he's he's amazing. I would love to see that match. Um, I would. I like I said, I'm not a huge New Japan follower. I'm still new to the Bullet Club and the Kenny Omegas of the world. I'm slowly getting in there, watching some stuff when I have time. Um, everyone, they said everything he does is a five star match. I think, and we talked about this during the the MMA fight at Dave's house. Um, I think it's kind of it's become cool to say that WB is not good, and, yeah. and and even when they do put on a really good match, what I feel should be ranked higher, they just don't get that respect because they are WB and, 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 and because so. New Japan is kind of the, the it's a cool thing to like, like the cool like. thing to yeah, like. Exactly. I think they get a little more bump than they should. Maybe I'm just being maybe maybe There's I'm out some. Of, I mean, yeah. some of the matches are awesome, like the G1 this year. There yeah, so, so many good matches. Pentagon, Ju- Pentagon, and Omega got a very very high rating. At all in. At all in. Watching Lucha Underground and watching Pentagon versus ninety percent of that roster, I thought he's put better matches on a New Japan uh, in, in Lucha Underground than he did against Kenny Omega that night. That's just my opinion, and I think that got that match got an extremely high rating, and I've seen better matches than that in Lucha Underground. I feel bad. I didn't watch that one yet. I haven't saved. Yeah. Like, no, like it's all in? Yeah. No, it, it I, is I watched. I, wa- I watched up to that match. Oh, and then wow. it my favorite. And my favorite it. match probably that pay per view was. I, I, I didn't like I said I'm new to the thing I was very very impressed with Hangman Page I was say Hangman Joey Janela and I was very <laughs> impressed Joey's with um, now. And, and I think he got Joey's a lot of heat for, right now. Yeah. I think he got a lot of heat from the match because he went on too long that's but, what they said but, not but really. I think Scroll Marty Scroll am I saying that right yes unbelievable he's awesome yeah him like, and Okada had a great match but like anyone can have a great match with Okada not yeah. to downplay with Marty Scroll but, but he, he yeah, played the little great. man perfect he played the mm-hmm. like, and then obviously I, I thought Joey Ryan thing. I, uh, I was the first time seeing Joe Ryan. It was hilarious. hilarious. It was the hilarious. Yeah. You've never seen the Pornplex? Uh, no, I've never. There's, and then there's a lot of different variations of that. Yeah. That's awesome. I don't want awesome. to get too much into it. Uh, he's hurt now, too. He uh, hurt his, yeah, he his pecker, his arm, then, yeah, too. Yeah, he's out for a little bit. He's awesome. He's been out for years. I mean, the Dick Druid's coming out was phenomenal. Yeah. Coming out and then resurrecting the Dick of And if you watch the whole being elite and how Hangman murdered Joey Ryan, it's very awesome. So, it was good. And another thing, too. All In got very 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 high praises watching an NXT pay-per-view I think even NXT's worst pay-per-view was better than All In really wow I, and, I, and I thought All In was good that's just how high I am in NXT I think NXT right now in my opinion like I said I don't watch a lot of New Japan or Ring of Honor or Impact so I could just be completely biased but I've never walked away from since I've been watching NXT pay-per-views and I don't watch it weekly I, I catch up later on Hulu I don't have cable um 
and I know that's not on, but anyway. Um, Actually, NXT is on Hulu. Now. Yeah, the NX, NXT's pay-per-views, I've never left disappointed. The takeovers are always great. The worst match was what Bobby, uh, glorious Bobby Roode versus whoever that was, that title match. That was yeah, great. Takamura? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that was in Orlando. Really I was there, and I was match. just like, yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. yeah. I went but, uh, to Philly last year, WrestleMania, or uh, Ro- excuse me, Royal Rumble weekend, and somehow, someway, oh, Dave Meltzer called... Uh, I'm not a fan of Dave Meltzer. Johnny yeah. Organo and Java. Hmm? Oh, uh, almost. That almost, match was almost. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, he called that one of the best well, what, matches what, in NXT I love history. That match. The, I loved the, it. And I thought Organo's I thought that was a very great. vague statement to say that match was phenomenal. Me sitting 20 rows away, but I don't think that, that ladder was, match with Dream Ricochet. Oh, oh that was yeah. That four-way ladder match, and then even the one-on-one with. Um, Ricochet and Adam Adam Cole, mm-hmm. unbelievable. All the takeovers are Adam usually Cole, great fantastic. and much better than WWE pay-per-views. Adam Cole, all right. So that le- that, that Shawn Mike, the next Shawn Michaels moniker has been thrown out every. It, it's thrown out all the time. You got the AJ, you got Dolph Ziggler, which I think are phenomenal. And it was wrestlers. originally uh, Morrison. They're like Morrison. John Morrison. John Morrison. John Morrison. Great, phenomenal, and, Phen- and they're all three what Hall yeah. of Fame great wrestlers. But if you want to talk about a guy, he's undersized, but if you want to talk about a guy who has the mic skills, who has the charisma of a Shawn Michaels, and he can do it in the ring, Adam, the first set, the first time I've ever seen Adam Cole live, I was like, that guy is it. That guy is a superstar. He's great. The only problem is, is probably his size. His and size. Well, see him and then, and then watching, that's why they paired him with everybody. That and then watching him on Undisputed Era, I think this, the sleeper of that team is um, O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. That guy is, he does the small things that if you're not paying attention, miss they go, you miss it. But if you're watching him, the, he, your eyes are on him because he does this. Like, I watched the interview he did where he had the title and he's just sitting there. He's not even being interviewed. And he's, <laughs> he's tuning the end of the title like a guitar. Like, but, it, but if you're not paying attention to him, you miss it. He's, and his in ring spots are phenomenal. You could tell, you know, once again, going to the MMA thing, I think when these guys are coming now from MMA to uh, wrestling, I think they're finding a way to make their punches, their kicks, their moves, their submissions look more realistic and they look better. I think we're at a spot now where wrestling is starting to look better because of these guys with their jujitsu background and their punches. And it's not just a guy throwing a barroom punch. There's guys who are squaring up and punch, yeah. yeah, it's it's it looks clean. Kyle looks Ryan has a, a big MMA influence. He does. And uh, if you watch, if you go to New Japan World or maybe it's on YouTube, watch uh, Kyle Riley versus Katsuyori Shibata, mm-hmm. and that match is a very. If you're an MMA fan, you'll love that match because it's like as much. MMA as professional wrestling can get. Yeah. And it's awesome. And as a fan of MMA, um, so I'm getting. Uh, We're just going to call that Snugweiser for the the podcast. Um, (laughs) But yeah, it's just, as an MMA fan, and obviously I I stepped away from wrestling for a long time, and because I became an MMA fan, and then I got back into wrestling, um, it was something that now that I'm watching it, and I'm watching the Santa Blazers, and I'm watching the Ronda Rousey doing the judo throws, and, and the wrestling fans are like, she's going to hurt somebody. That judo throw is probably safer than anything you're ever going to see because she's in full control of she that. get her an arm drag. I yeah. Did, you, know what you, you know what I mean? And she, those judo throws, she's, she's doing them the talk show host. They look violent. But if done right, they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's huge. Um, then the last bit of news, and then we'll quick bang through, uh, get through some. We'll bang it out, Ben. Um, <laughs> that's, ben that's, that's Ben's that's Ben's catchphrase, by the way. So if you're, if if we ever get T-shirts made for this podcast, Ben, our sound guy, you're gonna see him on the Pop Culture Channel. Um, his Nick, his his catchphrase is "Bang it out." Uh, my wife and Nicola are huge fans of it. Um, <laughs> Hey quick quick news um, that came out today. We're going to say, allegedly, we're never going to get sued. No one's going to really watch that. No. But J- James Ellsworth is sending penis pictures to a 16-year-old girl on Snapchat. And this girl claims that she has been getting stuff like that from other wrestlers. So... Right away, you don't know. She's red, playing a couple. The Enzo Amore yeah, red flag yeah. comes up. We're not going to get too much into it, um, but yeah, that's out there. James Ellsworth sending. I mean, if it's true, it will come out. A bunch of independent guys just got ousted for being uh, pedophiles. Some, like, some we know yeah, personally. Yeah, yeah so guys that I've seen and been in shows with. So, I mean, a lot of that's coming out now. Even a guy that runs a, a Fed got busted. He's on Megan's Law, and now they're like, oh, look at this, and they cancel wow. the show and everything. I heard. So, you know, if, if it's true, we'll find out. I heard last year when. Uh, Rude Boy got busted. Oh, yeah. That uh, after he got busted, apparently they said there was a lot more names that are about to be leaked of people in that kind of shit in the scene. Yeah. So, it's crazy. I mean, I mean, Rude, a lot of people think within the last week, there's two you. more 
one's more of a name, obviously, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So some past events that happened, um, evol- Evolution. We'll try to go through it quick. If you, if you guys have anything you want to interject, please do. Um, Trish Lita, uh, they defeated Mickey James and Alicia Fox. I thought it was a I thought it was a great match when Lita wasn't in the ring. Mm-hmm. At least she didn't die in that moonsault. The moonsault was good. The last yeah. time when she yeah. did moonsault, I, I was like, and that oh, ring good. gear looked like it was just the biggest wedgie of all time. Oh, and her yeah, it was like high waisted. Like, yeah, she tried to do the thong the and the um, and the fishnet look and kind of throw back a few different. You can just pass this way. But Trish oh, looked okay. fantastic. Yeah. Trish looked really in the face, good for hey. being. A mother of two. A mother of two and being away from it a while. Her She's probably in her forties now, probably. Mm-hmm. That's it. You definitely seen the um, Thank you, the pace of the match slowed down when Lita got in. It was a different match. Honestly, I thought in that match, you got to remember one thing. Lita was just like Edge wrestling on borrowed time. Yeah. You never know what bump or what move is really going to jar your neck to the point where. You don't know if you're going to be able to get up. I agree, I, and, I, and I take that into consideration. But if you're at that point, you're don't only wrestle. you're only disser- you're yeah. only putting a disservice out there to people. And Trish is in much better shape for her. Yeah, and tr- supposedly with the with the injuries to Alicia uh, Alexa Bliss, they're still keeping Trish around because they want to somehow maybe even at Mania they want to put that match together. Why you yeah. know have Trish on WrestleMania? Why not? Yeah, but I think Trish has the itch again and she wants to wrestle, which is um, let her. Uh, someone's gonna, gonna have four girl matches though. I mean, yeah, I'm okay with. Two. Yeah. yeah, they might have four. Maybe, um, maybe most of them on the pre-show. Someone's gonna have to help me with the pronunciation of this one. This girl's name. Io Shirai. Io Shirai. He, he already nailed it. Tony Storm wins the May Young Classic, which I thought was a great match. Mm-hmm. Very impressed with Io. Right, am I saying that right? Yes. Io. Io. Um, if you want to talk about possibly women's divisions getting a tag title, Io and uh, Oscar. Or EO, well, her, Kara and Sane. Sane. her and Carrie Zane are Kara actually Sane. best friends in real life, and they, they look wrestling. exactly the same almost. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carrie's um, a little more not just because they're smaller. Asian, but because they look, <laughs> look the same. And they're both very attractive. Yeah, I think they're very absolutely. attractive. Yeah. Yeah. Zane is super I think cute. I remember super about the May Young Classic. I think is Oscar's that pretty too, but the, I like Oscar. Yeah. the Big person who fan. was supposed to win ended up getting injured in semifinals. Oh, Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox. Do you think she was still supposed to win? Do you think it was Tony Storm's year? I think Tony Storm was her year because she got to the final. Last year. It, Tony Storm in is the strong. end it was supposed to be Tegan Knox and Tony Storm. Tony Storm and is... I feel so bad for Tegan Knox because she put on some of the better matches I saw in that. She tournament. did. I felt she bad did. she got yeah. hurt again. So she next year she's oh, won. That was bad though. Like, they actually had the match on in, the, in part of the show. Yeah, really. And you can just hear her scream. Like, she tries to keep going. She went to. Going. She took a drop kick and when she went down. And she literally just went straight to the knee and let out the most cheerful scream. So she tore her knee? Yeah. 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 And um, it was in the good knee. Yeah. She yeah. tore her ACL year, the, the, the knee last, uh, the year before, so she couldn't compete. And now it was the good knee that she ended up tearing this time. So now she's going for a second uh, ACL surgery, and we don't know when she's going to be back. Doctors are so good at those now. If you go to the right one, you're, you're in good shape. Um Tony Storm is is so so attractive. Like she's a good looking uh, girl, but her her um yeah her Chun-Li. yeah Chun-Li. her faces <laughs> so. that she puts on during the match. Yeah. Oh yeah, she could ruin it. <laughs> like, <laughs> what sold me on her is when she puts them down and then she gives them the hip attack. Yes, and once, twice, and then she does the Rick Rude and then gives them the third one. I'm like I love her. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we have um, a tag match. Oh, a triple threat, a triple tag match. Bailey, Banks, Natalia, they defeat the Riot Squad. Um, I'm, I'm over. I'm a snoozer. I, I like Bailey. For a six man tag. I like I like tag? Natalia. I'm over Banks. I'm just over. Riot Squad, that stable has a future. I really like that stable. They're, they're just there because they're young now, and like, who can we put them up against that they can make them If you're going to give a tag team title to, uh, to, a, to a stable, they got to be up there in the ranks to take it. Like, they got to be. I say who gets it, who maybe don't deserve for in ring, but for uh, promo skills, it's iconic. Iconic. They should be the first uh, they're, they're up there, too. I, I have a thing for uh, girls from Australia. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a pretty big noise. My and, God. Uh, <laughs> but the reality of it is, who's going to get it? The Bella Twins. Let's just uh, the Bellas, no. and then they've been. Oh, nah. well, and then, then your girl Naya and. Oh, Tina. Tina. They've been tearing up. Obscurity. Who's going to beat them? Yeah. Well, the Riot Squad. They have dirty right. tactics. We actually was... just talked about this in a, a seminar. Guys like Ric Flair and Dusty Rhodes. The Dream they bad. Amazing on the microphone. Mm-hmm. Can cut a promo in a minute flat. They will talk you into your seat. That's but in the ring. They're really not that good. 
Well, the Ric Flair. Flick Flair, I disagree. Yeah. Maybe Dusty. D- Dusty, Dusty was a answer. fast, a fast moving big guy. Yeah, for a fat guy, Dusty can move. He moved. He, and, he, and, and the thing is, he wanted to lose weight and slim down, but everyone told him not to because of his look. Um, I, I can agree with that. I think there's guys who can sell you on the microphone, but they have a hard time in the ring. Hogan. Elias. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back to Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> We're not um, going back to Enzo tonight. But uh, uh, going back to this this triple tag tag match, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of every member of the Riot Squad, but Ruby. She has a future. Ruby's I, good. Liv, uh, I always say Liv Tyler, so that's what I'm just going to call her. She, she, she needs some work in ring, but she's beautiful. Liv is, but, Liv is uh, very sure. green. Sarah, Sarah Logan is very yeah. green. Yeah. She, she got she's rushed good. up. Like, she barely had it. The whole, I don't think that they... She's the youngest signing. All three of them didn't really have that much of a... Ruby, Ruby a had in NXT, though. Yeah. Like, they were in and out. I think Ruby worked for Chikara. Yeah, she was Ruby was doing death matches with dudes. Yeah. So like, Ruby's a good wrestler. Yeah. Sarah, what, Sarah Logan? Sarah Logan, Yeah, she's pretty good, too, but obviously Liv's the weak part. Liv? No, Liv, Liv is very good when she comes to her charisma in the ring. Yeah, she. Uh, we'll talk about telling a story in the ring. Liv can do it. Mm-hmm. Former Mrs. Enzo. Well, yeah. all, all, yeah. to, all together. And I think she I mean, was former Tyler. Mrs. Bate then too. Yeah, she or, was a or, Tyler or, Bate then. Or yeah. she is still with the Mayo now. I don't. I don't yeah. think anymore. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. You, you were going to say something about mustache and beard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were going to say something. Yeah. Up? I forget now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to talk about Liv. Then we had a we had an NXT title. Baszler beat Zane. I thought it was a good match. Mm-hmm. I thought it. I thought it was a very. Uh, I thought it was really good. Especially. Very good match. Um, then you have finish. Then you have Lynch versus uh, Lynch ver- uh, Becky versus Flair. Match of the night. Yeah. Match of the night. I really wish they would have put the instead of the battle royal they had. I actually forgot the battle royal, which Nia Jax won. I really look shocked, great, especially for being that battle royal was good at the very inches. end when 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 Amber Moon and Nia Jax closed it out. Mm-hmm. But once they eliminated everybody but Tori, I was like, thank God, now this match can actually flow. Yeah, because those old the older ones they just didn't have it, mm-hmm. and you could definitely tell. Um, but and like I said, I'm very high on Ember Moon. I wish they would have done just as a throwback match instead of the triple tag. I'm, I'm glad they got Riot Squad a spot in the card, but I would have loved to see a Bailey Banks. Rematch that card, oh, really good. and I would like to see an Oscar Ember Moon rematch in that card. Talk about I, four I, people they don't know what to do with. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and I think if you're going to put two people together that know how to put a show on and you want to promote evolution, I think that's where you go with it. But they, obviously they didn't. Um, and then the main event, which we all kind of know is going to suck, and not because Ronda Rousey's. Not, I think for for being how green she is, I think she's doing a phenomenal job. Yeah, she's, she's definitely think, working on what she has. And one she's year. good at what she does. Yeah, like, she's only one um, year in. But the Bellas, I mean. Maybe I'm just hating on them because of the Bellas, but I don't. They don't do it for me. I never cared for them, but I thought this was one of Nikki's best matches she ever had. I thought for a Nikki Bella match, you, yeah, you can't get much better. Um, <laughs> aside then, from how much they were botching coming into, well, uh, oh my god, that's still suicide Weakling. dives and yes. then she kicked yes. Liv Morgan in the face. I think the dive was worse than the kick, yeah, for yeah, sure. And then she, I mean, through. she went to dive out of that second rope, and it was almost like a, a Wiley Coyote cartoon. She came out, and it's like. Yeah, but they, no, they couldn't even catch her. They couldn't even catch her. No one um, ever said like name the top women's wrestlers in the world, and someone said Nikki Bella. Like, yeah, you know, she's not even. Oh, that was actually that was 20. even uh, that was Brie that put Bucks yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, Brie's worse than Nikki. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then we had Crown Jewel, which I mean, uh, glorified house show. Yeah, Nakamura yeah. beats Rusev. You want to talk about a guy who deserves something? Rusev should be getting a push. Yeah, but, Rusev's uh, ready to leave. But yeah, they're... and with all, all do right. I mean, the guy was you, you had this guy booked as an undefeated streak, and he was dominating, and then then he, gets, then he gets hit by the gold and shovel and then he disappeared um, and him and uh, Aiden should have been tag champions when they were hot in the beginning they should have not even last year those guys up. they should still be together yeah. that but was... I do like the whole like I might have banged your girl yeah. angle but I mean but it, it lasted two weeks yeah, what, what, and, and then that was that he's it, gone it, yeah. and then the following week he beat Aiden in like two minutes yeah, yeah that was that and uh, feud's done I'm like come on yeah Ru- I like Rusev a lot I'm a huge fan I like him out I like if, if you want to watch some good Rusev stuff the stuff he does during house shows where he could just be himself yeah, He's funny. He's hilarious. Like there's a there's a great baby face right yeah, there. Yeah, he's they so good. Him. And then him and Lana together are hilarious. And it, and they took him away from me being each other on TV. That, like, that was dumb. And then they put Lana with Ziggler and yeah. then Summer Ray with Rusev. My, my, like two weeks. My yeah. wife. My wife does not. She's slowly getting into wrestling. She starts just started watching Total Divas. Mm-hmm. No. But the only reason she starts watching Total Divas, like she bought it. She thought it was a real show. She's like, oh my god. I'm like, this is all fake. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but she wants to catch up to the point where she loves Lana. Mm-hmm. She thinks she's funny. She. <laughs> Loves Rusev. Yeah, she's a fan. Like she's 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 into that Total Diva show to catch up to where they are now. So she's one of those females who is now getting into the soap opera like oh, us hey. men are. Yeah, like that's her angle in. You know what I mean? And what a better time to 
start watching it because I said not all the women's matches were good. Yeah. She gets pissed when they put them in tag teams every week, and she's like, "I put the, let them do their thing." Yeah. I was like, "Well, unfortunately, they're they're not where they should be yet." You've got um, twenty some women on the roster, and you got to find a way to squeeze at least yeah. half in a minute. And you're putting them in tag team matches every week, but don't have a tag team division. Yeah, yeah. which well, is like, just know, make so it. What's the point? And everyone's like, "You can't it's have coming. two. You can't have two tag team divisions with each show. Why can't you just have one? Have one. one. And you, they, you can still do more shows. Pay-per-views. I think there should be one men's tag titles. Yeah, because I mean, look at all the tag team scenes. And the rates are going with the mixed match talents. Why is there not a mixed match tag team title? Which would be amazing. Exactly. Because those are funny. You ever watch those? Like, yeah. where they can let them be themselves? I watched the first non-can. season. I didn't watch this season at all. Yeah, it's good. But God um, forbid the whole abusing women, men hitting women. That, yeah, they back in the, the attitude women can hit the men, but the men can hit the women. Yeah. 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 Back in the attitude era, it used to be balls to the wall, well, girls guys hitting girls, girls hitting guys, the whole thing. Yeah. 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 Off yeah. the top rope through the table. Yes, yes. At? We but now, like, God forbid, because of all it. the domestic violence, now yeah, we're going the, long. I'm telling you, now I, I it's just it we like a slap in the hand. Don't do that. Which is like, eh, he can kind of get it. And if you're now. a fan of that, Lucha Underground is where you want to be. Say, yes. It works pretty much everywhere, everywhere else, but there. Like, yeah, they will not do it. I don't think Vince likes so it. So I was, I was like watching. If, spoiler alert: If you're gonna watch Lucha Underground, um, the one of the very first episodes, Chavo Guerrero smashes a chick in the face with a chair. Sexy star. <laughs> like, yeah, sexy well, she star. Deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in hindsight, later on, you realize she, she she had it coming. But so going back to Crown Jewel, so Crown Jewel almost got me. I was watching. I was like, all right, they're doing this. They're doing this tournament for the best in the world, and it was a World Cup. All from the United States. But they're all from the United States. <laughs> um, so Orton defeats Rey Mysterio, and I, my ears perked up. I was like, oh wow, did not expect that. Then you have Miz defeat Jeff Hardy, and then my ears really perked up. I was like, holy crap. This actually has some potential. You're going to see some good, good matches. We all knew Rollins was defeating Lashley. Mm-hmm. Then they segue into a tag where the bar fights the New Day. It's a good match. I think if you're going to put a tag team match on, the bar is doing their thing. They're very good. The New Day is very good. They're still struggling with the tag team divisions on certain shows. We'll say Raw. Um, NXT tag matches are phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Um, then they come back from that, and the Miz defeats Rey Mysterio. And I'm a Miz guy, and... In my heart, with Ray coming back, I did not see him losing that match. I would have had Ray win the whole thing. Yes. Like, what does it matter? You know, um, last then year got a title then I was like, all right. Finally, yeah. 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 This, whole, this whole crown jewel, when they said the best in the world, I thought it was going to Rollins. It's where I was, I thought that was my heart. I thought that's what they're going to do. Safe pick. Ziggler beats Rollins. <laughs> then I'm like, holy crap, we're going to see Ziggler versus The Miz, which is my personal two favorite guys on the two roster right guys. now. They're going to put on a five. Like, you want to talk about a five star match if they let them go they're gonna put on a great show and then i was like this i'm excited now and then we've seen the joe versus aj for the 15th time <laughs> and it's been that, the same thing we've seen yeah the and then we see lesnar just squash braun with it like Ugh. here's my thing with braun they buried this guy with ladders and chairs they 30 guys jump him he gets back up he's the monster of my men and then he gets hit with a title and takes a suplex and it's over like <laughs> and f5 I'm, I'm not buying it um so then I'm like, well, F it. We're going to see Ziggler versus The Miz. I'm excited. The Miz fakes an injury for Shane McMahon to come out and be claimed the best in the world. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, I'm all about McMahon saying, okay, you know, every now and then I'm going to come into a crazy spot. But you are just taking away from your roster every time you show up. That's someone's spot that you could be letting who's putting their work in do. I'm over it. He's an attraction, so yeah, have him wrestle like somebody in yeah, some garbage here match. Here and there, yeah. But and the, don't win this stupid cup. That, has, that did not play any part in anything besides no. now him being part of the team uh, SmackDown. Yeah. Like, what's, what's the, the waste too? Yeah, like, what, why not let someone else be in part of it? Rusev. Orton, Rusev. Yeah. Anybody, Rusev anybody but Shane McMahon. And here's yeah, the thing. I'm yeah. over it. Who won the Whopper SmackDown last year? I don't know. I, I don't okay. remember. Like, what do you win? You don't win nothing. I believe Raw won it because Stephanie was like, we won last year yeah, and we're going to keep yeah, it this like, year. I, I do know the There's one no year stakes. SmackDown won because it was Wyatt and Orton and they were the only two left and they were okay. part of the Wyatt family at the point. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the only thing I remember. I don't remember like, oh, last year. Yeah. I mean, when Shane came back, he got one of the biggest pops I've ever heard in my life when his and music that's, hit. That's, see, and those fans, if you're watching, I know this is not going to take off, but I hope it does, but you are the reason why Shane McMahon came Keeps getting spots on people. Stop cheering for Damn that man. Keep bringing him back. Like because here's the problem with when when you cheer for a Shane McMahon, the ears in the back perk up. Mm-hmm. But when you cheer for a Rusev, they don't care. Yep. They don't care. 
Like, why do that when we have Shane? Yeah. He bleeds blue. Yeah. So. It's and just... furthermore, the whole phrase, best for business, has got to go. Yeah. Because somebody there does not know what is best for business. Somebody in Saudi Arabia said, this is what we want. And that's what happened. Like last time, they won it. Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior, Yokozuna. Like, uh, yeah, now, now, now going to the Crown Jewel event, a lot of people are saying we should have never been there in the first place. I'm going to say we should have been there, but we shouldn't have gotten ties with the government. Um, if you're going to go to a country where the fan base loves your product, I say let's not let's not ruin the fans who are there to watch your product and say f you we're not we're gonna pull out now because of your fault. government shitty. It's not the fans' fault because realistically you can look at other countries who see our leader and say that guy's a joke. And I'm not taking a side politically, <laughs> just saying what's in the world right now. <laughs> so imagine if a lot of these people would say you're gonna lose your entertainment because we don't like your leader. I think it's terrible what the Saudi Arabia government did to that reporter, and I, I, I think it's horrible, but to ruin that event for those people in that country would not have been good, and that's why I'm glad they kind of stayed. It, it sucks that the women are, are there, but who knows? If this is something that the WWE can say, oh, they let Renee Young on the table, mm -hmm. which is yeah. a huge step. One step, yeah. It's a step. If, and, if, and, if, and if, God forbid, wrestling saves the planet when it comes to the way we view things then let it happen people are, are crapping on WWE right now as a company saying they got in bed with rich people but their idea was to go in and make a change that was the initial idea yeah. so I mean I, they did the show for money so yeah they did it for money me. and let's, let, let's uh, cash is a perk yeah. yeah it's only a couple mil yeah but uh Jericho reported got a hundred thousand dollars to make that appearance in the room. And what he was wow. in the match for maybe two minutes. If that he said I'll do it, but maybe thirty. I'm not doing an iron, another Iron Man, <laughs> <laughs> which I love. I love Jericho. Jericho. Um, so past events are done. We got upcoming events that are actually happening this weekend. So I know my little brother personally just messaged me today. Um, he's he just he's in the service. He actually is in uh, San Diego. He just finished his basic training. He just got hurt himself so he can't go through his classes. I think he's tuning in now. He said he is. I'm not watching the chat, but I don't know what's going on there. Um, he messaged me today and said, I want to get into wrestling. How do I start? And I said, to this weekend is the best it's a great start for you. Mm -hmm. um, so War Games is this Saturday on the uh, on a, for NXT. Um, if you're brand new to wrestling or if you're not watching or you're into wrestling, if you watch NXT first, it's going to ruin everything for you, in my opinion. It'll be, yeah, it'll be <laughs> yeah. better as far as yeah. NXT's um, uh, takeoffs are always better than pay-per-view. Going the card backwards, you got Gargano versus Aleister Black. Awesome. Potentially match be, of the night. Yeah. Which is hard to say with this card. It's usually always matches. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. All the matches have a chance. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Gargano now has turned full heel. He's he's, well, he's proclaimed you, the which, attack on which Aleister I don't Black. Really like. yeah. Sorry for spoilers who haven't seen uh, anything. So, Aleister anything Black. Like, is, is he actually heel, though? Yeah. Or is it just like a big plan to get no, Dr. Trompa? He went full heel. Yeah, I, I know. But yeah. is he actually heel? Yeah. It's just, I think he is. I think he read. Trumpa's tweets. He's like, I'm so glad you actually like found yourself and all this yeah. other stuff. Getting closer to him, closer to him, and he's gonna stop me. Maybe, that. maybe that's a good call. That's There's a very your, good call. Maybe match you potentially here. bring back yeah. DIY on a heel basis. No, 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 that wouldn't yeah. happen though. Don't tease it. Maybe dude. bring T with DY up as a tag team to save the Raw division when they move them both up. <laughs> they might just do that anyway, but there are fewer. They'll one. both end up on 205 together, Live regardless. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Trumpa, I don't think he'll go in 205. No. Johnny Moore. But Johnny uh, Strompa, no, I think he'd be perfect on like SmackDown. Yeah. So he has a build. Just as a, I think they're scared to bring Chomp up to main roster because if they get F you Chompas on live TV, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's tough to edit that out. Fox, Fox might live? not like that. You might as well just mute the whole Trying show. Do the two yeah. second delay. Um, so just to catch you up a little bit, Alistair Black was the champion. He got jumped. He got hurt. His title then went to Chompa. Chompa and Gargano has been having matches. As a feud for a while, there used to be a tag team. We're not going to get all into it. You can watch it all on the WWE Network. Great matches, all yeah, yeah, great matches. So then they're coming up to a war game, which is an old WCW match. I did it last year, where they they literally put two rings together. This is an Eric Bischoff creation, right? No, it's a Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, it's Dusty. It's a Dusty. Yeah, it's because it goes from NWA back in like I think the first one was like '86. Two or so. rings together with a cage, yeah. Uh, very famous botch when Sid Vicious went to powerbomb somebody yeah. and his feet hit. <laughs> and then jumps on his neck. I think yeah. it was, I forget who it was. Was it Brian Pillman? Yeah, it was Pillman. Yeah. It was, it was Pillman. Pillman. Yeah, almost killed him. Um, my opinion, the greatest stable in wrestling, even better than the Bullet Club, 
Sorry. Boy. Undisputed Era. <laughs> I'm sorry, the elite now. They're not the Wolf No, no, Club no. no. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the elite. The, yeah. yeah, they, they split they the Wolf Club. 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 Yeah, I love sad. Undisputed Era. I think they're amazing. But they're fighting versus, which is, I don't know much about the War Raiders. I know they were big in the indie scene. or War Machine. Big War yeah. Machine. Yeah. They're all the War Raiders now in NXT. But you have two very good singles competitors, which I'm very high on, which is in Ricochet and Pete Dunne. So, I mean... You just put Ricochet in another match where he has two rings to flip around and a cage. There's fireworks. So this this is four on four, right? Yeah. yeah. Five of, like last year was five, wasn't it? It was no, it was three, three teams. Uh, yeah, three teams. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't, so I don't like that. A, I like when it's two teams and it's yeah. So it's gonna oh, be it's, it's gonna be two three, teams three, four three, on four. Three. Okay. Yeah, it was. Sanity and, and, uh, and strong. Right. Yeah, and strong versus yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and, so this is gonna uh, be a four on four two tag te- two teams, mm-hmm. um, which is how it normally is. There's only yeah. one other one that had three teams and it was terrible. Yeah, it was like ninety nine or two thousand. If you are not a, a wrestling fan, and I mean obviously if you're a, uh, been a wrestling fan for a long time, undisputed era is gonna be right up your alley. Dun, dun, if you dun, are dun, brand dun. new to wrestling and you like the flashy, you like to be amazed, you like to be awe. You like Ricochet. Ricochet is gonna be your man. Mm-hmm. I mean that guy. Is on if I I didn't make I don't know if you guys did your power rankings, but if I had a power ranking, Ricochet is going to be way up there. Um, I didn't do one for um, NXT, unfortunately. He's the North American champion right now, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, North American it. champion. And Pete Dunne is actually the UK champion. UK champion. Over a year, the longest reigning champion. He's he the longest reigning champion, and he's actually closing on on Lesnar's time soon yeah yeah well, so i seen that meme well i still um, lose like a day before yeah, yeah and he's defended it to four nobody. times more than lesnar has because yeah. uh, <laughs> he defends it everywhere um then we have a nxt women's championship match bets out of two uh two out of three falls which is baszler versus zane again they've been putting great matches on it's only going to be good it's only good the Bam. only way i can see them working this one over is if you go one one and then the, Nobody the, wins. The horse won't get involved. Yeah, yeah. that's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. Disqualification. Yeah. Call it double, throw it out, and I get we'll Duke. I get next Duke and, yeah. uh, and and Jasmine Duke and Marie Shavir. Yeah. There she is. <laughs> yeah. exactly. I always forget. I don't know which one's which though. One of them Jasmine Robert Duke's the tall blonde. Yeah. The other Duke's one I always forget. One. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. They both have extremely. But the long ones hair. engaged yeah. too strong. Yeah. To who? Robert Strong. Really? Yeah. Have a kid. So if you want to get in the MMA world, because I'm a big fan, Jasmine Duke, Ronda Rousey claims she was always a wrestling fan. Do I buy it? Maybe. No. But the reason those four girls got into wrestling, and because I, I remember watching interviews where they say that Shayna Blazer made them watch it. Shayna Blazer is a wrestling yeah. fan. She loved it. Daniel Cormier, also a huge wrestling fan mm-hmm. as well. A lot of guys are. Uh, yeah. To act, actually, to kind of backtrack a little bit, Daniel Cormier was actually spotted at the NXT Performance Center. He was going to do a uh, commentary. He, he may be commentating for... Um, for the for the Fox, yeah, because uh, they want a real sports thing. Yeah, so you couldn't do something because of some some reason. Yeah, some kind um, of reason. we also yeah, talk about this a little bit. Yeah. We talked a little about this a little bit on the MMA show. Where if does does Daniel Cormier make an MMA make a WWE appearance and maybe fight Lesnar there too? Um, Why not? We said he's too old, and his his comments were he didn't he would have went to WWE route before he went to MMA, but the b- bumps hurt more than getting punched in the face. Well, over time, you gotta think if you yeah. wrestle four or five times a week and you're getting slammed ten times a match. He said it sucked. You know how many times are you getting slammed in a UFC yeah. fight? I know a lot of guys say you know a lot of the MMA peers say. Uh, wrestling stupid it's fake it's boring take it from a guy here this guy right. he lands on his back on uh, that mat is not cushion no. it is tight as plywood with a, and this guy I mean he has his own ring in his yard he's jumping around on that's not a that's not a trampoline you're falling on that no. is solid like it's steel with, with four with, with plywood on it and then you got yeah. like that thick we'll yeah. and after time it's a lot of a lot of damage and a lot of, takes its toll to your body yeah. whereas MMA I mean yeah you get punched in the face and you can't you're learn fire, to fall good like I hate when people say oh you just learn how to fall no, I mean you learn how to fall better. You take your bump. If it's it, perfect, yeah. but it yeah, hurts. I mean, not it everything's hurts. always go. Perfect. Catching a guy in midair and taking his knee to your face is gonna hurt every single <laughs> time. It's fake though. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Tuck your chin, you know, right? Yeah. Tuck your chin and pray. Yeah. Mm. Literally, that's you're at the mercy of your guy. No, I don't know how true it is, but 
Dreamer said that uh, every bump you take is a, just as bad as getting in a car crash going at least I believe 50 it. miles per hour. I believe it. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's that bad, but I mean, yeah. And then over time, you got to think, like, how many people do you know that just fall on their floor? Like, you know? I mean, yeah. That's what it's like, the, the getting slammed. Yeah. Just, yeah. just jump back. in the air and land people, flatten your back on your kitchen most floor. Most people never gonna hurt land on their back their whole life and yeah. be in a ring, and especially if you're doing tons of moves. Mm-hmm. I mean, if anybody's been to any independent show, nine out of ten times, if you're going out of the ring, there's no pads. There's no pads, mm-hmm. yeah. No. I wish there was. You're, you're, you're hitting solid, <laughs> marble, Some concrete wood. floor. That's why right I there. love indie shows, because a lot of people are like, oh, they're not as flashy as main ring. These guys, they got to go to a job the next day, and they're still doing this for your entertainment. Yeah. And, and hopefully get that dream one day of getting a call. And I respect the hell out of that, and I, that's why I love going to them. Um We'll get to the outbreak at the end there because I do want to definitely give that a shout out. Um, <laughs> then with the main, the main, the main match here, Champa versus another guy who, if you are a fan of wrestling, old school wrestling, and you're getting and, and, and NXT is gonna be the first event you watch in a long time. Velveteen Dream, that guy is gold to me. Twenty three years old. Yeah, he's so young. He, I mean, I think he's really good. The charisma of The Rock. And I mean, he's not terrible in the ring either. Which we always have that payoff no. where you're not good on the, you're great in the mic, but not yeah. good in the ring. Velveteen Dream. I mean, it's hard to beat his mic skills, but he's phenomenal. I mean, the only thing, the only issue I have with him is the, literally the name, the Velveteen Dream. It sounds like a gimmick from the '80s that's just getting pushed so hard that it's not going to. But work. it's like part of it. So I think I, with main roster, they might not know what to do with him. I it's love it. They'll probably change his name, like main yeah, roster a name, but that's I mean, just like. Yeah. So main roster, here's my theory, and tell me if you're a fan of it or not. I've been talking about this for a while. I wish Austin was here because Austin and his dad, um, they own an amazing sub place in Pottsville, Farlow's. Go eat it. It's 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 the greatest I used place. I go there once a week all the time. They're amazing. So the the kid, the guy who runs it, and his wife's son was supposed to be here tonight, Austin oh, okay. Blackman, um, and he actually wants to come and do a po- do one of these episodes with his kid. He's a huge wrestling oh, fan. He's nice. been a fan. He he goes back to the ECW days in Philly. He's a great guy to talk to. He's to be on here one week but it's guaranteed he's probably if not watching now he will watch big supporter of our channel he's doing great things um he actually put a, an advertisement for our show tonight on his facebook page really? for his yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah awesome because they're big awesome. they're big wrestling i haven't events. been in there in so long because i used to go all the time with the, the other owners the mm-hmm. guys that from shendo the that, guys who order now are doing better than even really with, yeah well that's 100%. great yeah I've, I've only been there a couple times but the subs are still very good try it so. out i mean the, i know this is such a weird it's a two course meal the it subs is. are two course meal you yeah. get a, you get a half half full <laughs> yeah. half is this yeah half. oh it's really like, i haven't been there i used to get I, I mean, got the so much sandwich there, one time. I, I can't even good. eat a whole one in one sitting. That was a great little promo commercial right there. <laughs> yeah, we love you guys. Follows. We love you guys. So actually, that's where I watch all my wrestling pay reviews. I go there, and hang really? out, and we right. hang. They're they're a great great family. So um, let's here. just put over local businesses. Yeah, yeah. That, and honestly, that's the big thing I'm doing here too. Like, if I, I, I'm trying to always not even just for sponsorship. I just try to help Wait, people. Does someone have a Gears Ice Tea? Put that up. Yeah, right there on my tattoo. Anyway. So like I said, Velveteen Dream. My my dream booking for Velveteen Dream to the main roster is a guy, it would be against a guy who I think he's on his way out, but he is a legend in my opinion. I think he's one of the greatest gimmicks of all time, When even when it comes to like even a Velveteen Dream. I think Velveteen Dream would be the best person to put him down and let him go off in the sunset. Velveteen Dream versus Gold Dust. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, uh, that, that that'd be nice. He can pass the. Uh, could you imagine them? Yeah. Could you imagine <laughs> them pass the uh, the weird torch? Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine them on the mic just going at each other? That'd be pretty good. Yeah, like, Gold Dust still can go. I he's still training. Yeah. Better shape now than he was back Ever. in the attitude era. Probably yeah, when he was in WCW. Sure. He's training. He's getting in shape. That's my that's my fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. They both said on social media interviews that Gold Dust is very respectful of his of his gimmick. Because mm-hmm. even Triple H said he, he stays in character until he leaves the arena. Mm-hmm. He's Velveteen Dream from the time he walks in That's awesome. to the time he leaves. Um, the Dream has he, no memory When of he that. got in trouble for the, for the Vince call me up. Yeah, call me up. On his tights. Tight, yeah. Yeah. yeah, on his tights, on his butt. The rumor was they didn't know he was doing yeah. it. That was the rumor. Um, and he came in the back, and one of the first people he stopped was, another, I don't know who they said it was, but it was him and Triple H. And they said, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes Vince will call you, but it's not for the right reasons. He goes, how do you think it's Vince McMahon, baby? Maybe I just have a, a friend named Vince, and I want him to call me. We haven't talked in a while. And walked away. That's yeah. awesome. To the chairman of the company. Yeah. Like, he's, he's the awesome. COO yeah, and the, the head C- of NXT. Yeah. And he, he is very good in the ring, so... I, I think, think he's going to have an XT Tower I mean, he's yeah, one of the eventually. few guys I know that I've seen. 
that will go for a top rope elbow, step off of the turnbuckle onto the, or step off the top rope onto the turnbuckle with no spring and jump halfway across the ring and land that elbow. He's so athletic. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. See, I don't think he wins the title. I think he's gone after this pay-per-view. Really? I think he's going to main roster. I hope so. I don't so. think so. I, so, I mean, like, what else is there for him to do there? I mean, he kind of went through, like, your top guys there. Uh, I mean, this is his last Do you think thing. his first title is going to be main roster? Like, it's something that's about a little bit Possibly. Like, time. I, I read that there's going to be some call-ups after this weekend. I think out of everyone there, I think Dream's the first one to go. See, I would, I would uh, put I him in the Rumble. I don't think you're going to see Dream right Surprise. away, though, because they got to do the vignettes and they yeah. got to build it up. Oh, yeah, but I mean, he might so just You're be... not just going to have him show up Monday night and just throw a monkey wrench in the Monday night. Now, here's the thing. Before we get into the Survivor Series, I actually read, and I forgot to put it up in the notes. So Triple H put out a, a, a thing today saying that he doesn't see NXT as development anymore. He sees NXT. He says he says he sees NXT as a third brand. So there's some guys that everyone's saying that should get the call up. That should get the call up. That should get the call up. They might not get the call up because they don't need to get called up because it's better where it is exactly. So you might see a guy. He goes, and this is my. I was talking to you about it, which would be my dream of wrestling, um, because there's so much talent. There's so much good stuff out there. Where you're you're under contract with somebody, but you kind of have that free movement to do what you want where Jericho can go to a WWE tomorrow and then go back to New Japan or do this and do that where NXT I just go up and fight a guy here but I'm back you know what I mean like I, I just think hope I hope wrestling gets to that point where yes I'm a New Japan star but I can go over and quick do a dream match here and then just go back like I don't have to sign up an eight year contract and, and get my character destroyed just go give the fans what they want because if, 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 if NATO or the Young Bucks would come to WWE not for a full run just come in show up do a pay-per-view maybe do a couple weeks to build it up on on that tv and they go back that's just good for business for everyone it is i I see that that for the longest time he's getting a little there but i think vince is not the guy to do it i think when vince goes to take on his new and 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 and, uh, his venue with xfl i think triple h takes the reins and then triple h has him and sean and really good people behind him i think that's where triple h is leaning to do because he's trying to put nxts all over the globe to try to make that a dream, like he oh, wants yeah. it to. He's, he's all about the territory days. Like he loves. He said that years ago. Like that's his goal. Is yeah. he, he wants to brand the world. He yeah. So bring, uh, and there he is. Now we're now they're in the uh, UK. And the, what was it two years ago when he brought over Jushin Liger to have that one match with Tyler Breeze? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that, was, that was cool. So, yeah, yeah, he's open to it. He said that's my. And, and he goes, if you see a guy leave the main roster and go back to NXT, that's Some not a demotion. demotion. I'd rather. Yeah. He yeah. goes. He goes right now like Ascension. If they were to go back to NXT, that's not a demotion. Yeah. That's we can use you better down here. Tyler so, Breeze, same thing. Perfect example. Yeah. yeah. Doing nothing. Go back Even Rus- Like all right. So right now you see Dream leave. Champo gets a champion, and then. And Jerusalem comes in and takes an NXT title and runs with it for a year and a yeah, half. Why not? I'm sorry, but NXT, and I've said this for the last two, two and a half years, everything NXT has been doing completely blows anything on the main roster. It usually it does. NXT Matches blows away half the stuff the world is doing. <laughs> because they, they, they tell a quick story, they do quick booking, but they tell it in the ring. It has their old school feel too. Yeah, it's not hard and, to and when they throw the lines. uppercuts and they throw the super kicks and they get that slap. I mean, it sounds so good. Um, so all right, so on to this Sunday live pay per view on the WWE Network for nine ninety nine oh. um, Survivor Series. So we're going to start off that pay-per-view and the kickoff show with a 10 versus 10 Survivor Series style tag team match. Like, what's up with this Raw's is, tag team division? Like, like, they had to call up people from 205 Live to go on and be a tag team. Because they don't yes. have tag teams. Both tag team divisions are trash. The worst thing is that uh, Heath Slater is not even on the show. And he's been a tag team with uh, <laughs> Rhino. Rhino for like three years now. And they, had, they were the champions. Yeah. They even pulled the show. They were the stars first ever SmackDown tag team champions. So, so, yeah, like, yeah, who are these guys? so hold on to your terrible. seats because you got Captain Bobby Roode and Chad Gable, which Ooh. who's seen that tag team coming? Versus with with the revival, the Ascension, the B team, and Lucha House Party, which is hilarious. I Lucha feel House so Party. bad. Oh. Keep going because I've, I've got I have, I have a name and, uh, for this Ascension. match. As yeah, reading, versus New Day, Sanity, the Colognes, the and Gallows and Anderson. Okay, so aside from New Day, this is the match of we don't know what to do with any of these people. Yeah. Just put them all in the same match. Yes. This is, this, that's what happens when like, there's too many people in the roster. Like, oh, these guys are still in the roster. I guess we can toss them in here. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're terrible. Like, they brought in now. Rockstar Spud Drake Maverick to be the 205 Live general yeah. manager, if you will. And he's now he's a he's a, and now he's he's a, manager, a little manager. squeaky dude yeah. for the AOP. They literally do not know what to do 
with, with the, the 205 okay. Live guys. Yeah. Leo Rush then, too. Yeah. Like, look yeah. at Rush. He's they literally need to just think Cruiserweight Classic, bring these guys, split them up on the main roster, two just, Cruiserweight titles, just wrestle. and just let them go. <laughs> just wrestle. That's it. That's yeah. what just let them Nitro. go. I think really loved it. take the brakes off them. Let them do what they do. And I, stop taping the ropes purple every time they get oh, in the yeah, ring. Yeah, that was, that, yeah, that was now. the worst thing I've ever experienced and in my life. Literally watching them in between matches. Pulling purple tape out from under the ring <laughs> and all the way across the ring ropes for 20 minutes. How, like, non practical. The best yeah. is one time the. Uh, I wonder what that cost them. Turnbuckle like, padding, they put it upside down. And you can see the whole match was like an M. And then you can see the next match, it was fixed. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, Vince is in someone's ear, like, that is that. Guys, not go back. And the Miz is probably back there like, it's for Miz TV. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then next we got the two oh the two oh five cruiserweight match, uh Murphy versus um Ali. That's gonna be that's pretty pretty good. Sick. Yeah. I don't that's watch be a great the match. last match was nasty. It was yeah. awesome. Buddy Murphy's really good. Yeah. Mustafa Ali easily could be one of the top talents there. He's yeah. the high flyer. It's the problem is he's on two oh five and no one cares about it. Right. Yeah. Hardly anyone watches. I'm I'm guilty. Yeah, I don't, I don't watch it. I watch yeah. it now. <laughs> Sorry. Um <laughs> Women's awesome. Survivor Series Smash. You got Mickey James, Nia Jax. Tamina, Natalia, and Ruby with Captain Alexa Bliss versus Carmella, Naomi, Sonya Deville, who I'm very high on, by the way. I like Sonya Deville a lot. Asuka, and then a to-be-announced with a captain to-be-announced. See, Manny Rose, right? (laughs) Maybe. Oh, really I know there's only not. three other girls on the roster. Who do they? So it's but like, Mandy Rose has been the, the, the talk the whole... Mandy Rose are the iconics, but I mean... If they bring up an XT person, they kind of... I don't, Ooh, I don't know. Maybe Nick shits on everyone Nicky else on the Cross. roster. Well, yeah, because Nick Cross... It could be Nick. Yeah, is that's she the, on the roster now, or is that just more, a thing because they're in the UK? Yeah, yeah. she lost to Becky. So... I don't know what they do with that. I don't know. I don't know who wins it. SmackDown girls. I mean, that's raw. I mean, it could be. I oh, know that's the SmackDown team. I think they're trying to make the new like tag team look good. And it is a SmackDown girl, roster, girl, and she was. Naya and yeah, and she they was take someone from Raw. So, somehow. so it is the SmackDown team that needs somebody. Yeah, and, and she did kind of debut on SmackDown. Maybe she fills in. Maybe just to get a cheap pop. The crowd loves her. Um, I, I see SmackDown winning that one. I can't see Monday Night Raw so, winning yeah. too. I, saw, I, I think Raw will, or the whole thing or just well, the, Oscar the won it for them and. Yeah, yeah, Oscar's thing. not doing nothing. So that's our first. Her in the match. That's yeah. our first. Um, she is though, right? Oscar's in the match. Yeah. 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 Oscar's yeah. yeah. Oh, so is. that's your first um, Raw versus SmackDown match. So who you got for that one? Some Raw SmackDown. SmackDown. I got Smackdown? Raw because you got Raw. I think they're trying to build up Nia and her new partner to me. Mm-hmm. I say SmackDown. For I'm I'm gonna go SmackDown as well because I think that there's a reason that the two be announced. Right. Trish. Unless it's unless it's just like a Manny st- Rose and she's a steal the show. Brock Lesnar comes. And, unless it's a Manny Ryan. Rose, then I completely change the <laughs> um, So now we have the men: uh, Co- Captain Baron Corbin, Ziggler, mm-hmm. Baylor, McIntyre, Braun, and Lashley versus Captain Miz, uh, Shane McMahon, Rey Mysterio, Samoa Joe, and Jeff Hardy. Um, why is Shane? I, I don't need Shane in this. Just steal another I, I spot. Just flip Shane with Rey Mysterio. I feel. I feel if you have Braun, Bobby Lashley, and, and McIntyre in your team, you shouldn't need anybody else. You don't yeah. lose. I say it comes down to Braun and, and Shane. And <laughs> Braun and yeah. Rey Mysterio. No, yeah, and Rey no. Mysterio snaps off the West Coast pop on a six foot eight man. Rey will get yeah, yeah, but Rey will get eliminated. He no, goes for the six one nine and just gets power bomb. Yeah. Bow. I go raw. I go raw all day. I, I, I can't really argue the raw team. So I have one SmackDown, one Raw. Right. I go Raw. Yeah. With this. Then we have a tag team, AOP versus The Bar. This is going to be sick, I think. It's I think it's going to be a great match, but I think AOP takes it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think uh, they should, it's just because uh, they could use the win. Yeah. Then you have Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte. I think it would be really good. Uh, Ronda I, wins. I think Ronda wins to keep that momentum, which sucks because I think, uh, but I'm excited for it. I, I mean, I'm just as excited for that as I was Becky. This is the match we wanted to see anyway. This is the WrestleMania match. We're getting yeah, it. We're getting it. Early. Early. No, yeah. they're not. Yeah, I got to and then, Charlotte. I think Charlotte's going to go too. And he, whether it is clean or, or dirty, like, yeah, I think Charlotte's going to be. Do I, I think, think Becky, Becky Lynch think, comes out, gets involved somewhere, costs she, Ronda Rousey the match. Especially if she's clear that she's going to have If I was booking it, if, and I want to get LaRonda that first loss just so she's not the new streak, I'd do it here. Even if it's just Becky comes out, distracts Ronda, which I'm calling it now, comes out and distracts Ronda, but Ronda Charlotte beats, hits natural selection. If match. that's the case, if that's the case, Ronda beats Becky at Mania. 
Not necessarily. Yeah, I think I, so. I, you I can't. You can't call it that. that. It's a while away yet. But We're I, almost I, I six months away from WrestleMania. You can't make that assumption that far. Out. I don't think Ronda loses two major pay per views yeah. in one shot. Survivor Series really isn't. I don't know. It was a top four. And now it's like top six. I mean, yeah. you can't really say that because Kirk Hawkins doesn't want to match in two years. <laughs> Kirk um, and then we close the show with, in my opinion, I, I, I don't care. Because Le- only because of Lesnar, Seth oh. and uh, Shinsuke. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I did. Yeah, so before Ronda and Charlotte, you have a dream a dream match. It is a dream match. Be, if they give them the time, if they yeah. Ten minutes and I, I think I Shinsuke. think this is the match that steals the show. Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. You see, if you're gonna do the interference with Becky and uh, oh, this is where Ronda, Dean, yeah. this is. I don't think you can do the run in twice. You can't. Yeah. You can't. Everyone thinks necessarily it's gonna three times and two. Everyone thinks it's gonna be. One I say one this is gonna be. Seth Rollins over clean. Well, what if he wins and then Dean comes out? Then that's fine. Yeah. 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 I think Rollins wins as well. Well, especially if Nakamura's going back to Japan in yeah. two months. Then yeah. He's losing. If Nakamura loses this, it's a very, very, indi- it's an indication of what's to come for him. So yeah. I mean, if he loses here, he, chances are he's going to drop the belt by the next paper. Yeah. yeah. Man, he should go back. <laughs> he said he likes the waves here better for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if New Japan throws him a bunch of money. And, 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 if, and why WWE didn't make I don't speak English yeah. Yeah. shirt? Yeah. You dropped the ball there. Yeah. Um, so then the main event, Lesnar versus Daniel Bryant. My opinion. It's a squash match. Unless Daniel Bryan gets interference, it's a squash match. Lesnar wins. Lesnar does not go to UFC and lose to a guy that's that big. I don't think it'll be a squash, but it'll be close to the match last year he had with AJ. Where it's good. Even AJ. Lesnar Lesnar versus AJ was the best Lesnar match he's ever been in. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Lesnar, I mean, AJ versus John Cena is the best John Cena match he's ever been in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, AJ's yeah. great. It's hard to have which, a bad well, match. Which AJ. match are we talking about? They had six matches. I think the one at the Rumble, and it was at 16. The both matches they had on, on pay per views were amazing. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if you guys have it written down or if you did it or not. I have my main roster power rankings. Do you want us to just do WWE? If you follow New Japan, <laughs> you can do your New Japan. You can do no, NXT. Is it just main roster? Okay. You can do NXT, okay. and if. If if you want to do your outbreak, no, don't don't put any. No, we can't, any we can't do that yet. Yeah. I mean, we we just wrapped up season one. Outbreak wrestling has gone from the brainchild of Commissioner Ryan Box to potentially one of the biggest opportunistic companies in Pennsylvania. If you're local and you do like it's Northeast Pennsylvania, let's Northeast say that. Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. If you're Northeast else. Pennsylvania and you you want to go and support local wrestling and you want to go see a pay-per-view uh, a, a live event um, Outbreak is doing it I mean I went to we went to the show last week the tickets were so affordable the I Hamburg think I paid house yeah the Hamburg field I mean Hamburg field house if you're a wrestling fan and you want to talk about a historic place who hasn't been there ECW has been there and uh WWE has been there Hogan, before with WWE. Andre the Giant, yeah. the Giant Hulk Hogan wrestled the taping in that schedule building. was there in Allentown every yeah. two weeks so um that's where Vince that was- McMahon first did his uh color commentary that's, and uh, where Roddy has uh, Jimmy stuck with the coconut yes so that that is a <laughs> historic place and I mean Outbreak Wrestling puts on a great show and I'm not just saying that because the champ is sitting no, no, here no, 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 pull me over um, <laughs> but they do a great and I, I've, I've went to previous shows even before they were Outbreak they were called something else AXW AXW, AXW. they do a good job they're and it's like, they're very affordable I do love the BYOB now just gotta oh, put yeah. that out that's, there that's still up in the air. That's a test? Sure how, that's a test run. I loved it. But at Temple, they do serve beer. Yeah, that's where the Temple actual does have, the fire company yeah. does have a yeah. little brewery in there. Um, it was a great show. There was a lot of good stuff on there. We, I think we paid $45 for four, four ringside tickets. I couldn't get a fourth person, fourth person to go. So just this is really funny. We were walking in. This guy was standing behind us. He's from the Allentown area. He goes and sees the uh, the Wild Samoans school. XW. Um, very very good too. Uh, I have a, a friend I used to work with. Um, her brother is actually the the guy who runs it. He just announced that he is you know he's Samu. He's, yeah, Samu. He's actually struggling with uh, cancer yeah, yeah. himself. Um, they and I would love to go up there and see them. Um, PPW does a great job from what I heard as well. Um, but going back to outbreak. So. This guy said he's from the Allentown area. He wanted to come down and see his first Outbreak show. Um, front row was sold out, which is cool. And I said, Are you by yourself, man? He goes, yeah, I'm by myself. I said, cool. I mean, did you buy tickets yet? He goes, no. I said, don't worry about it. You're with us. Mm-hmm. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, I have an extra front row. I'd never met this guy before in my life. 
I think Ben talked to him the whole time. <laughs> Ben's such a nice guy. And I gave I I literally gave a guy a front row ticket, and he enjoyed it. He had a great yeah, time. That's awesome. Ben Ben, I, every time I would heckle though, because I like to heckle. When me and Steve Fulton we used to go, we used to heckle oh, that's Steve everyone. Fulton, that? Yeah. You guys used to ask such a knocks a few back. The talent to hug Dave for hugs, yeah, and, and chop me. Just think like chop me. Yeah. yeah. Like so so I'm pretty first... sure only one person ever chopped Steve. <laughs> it was some big guy for you. Yeah. It was the dudes from. Um, the Redneck team. The Extreme Rednecks. The extreme, they were awesome. I still have an Extreme Redneck shirt. Those Chuck and Kyle Payne. Chuck and Kyle yeah. Payne. I love those guys. I don't know if they're ever going to watch this, but I'm huge support. I thought I'll they were awesome. They'll see it. We'll, I, we'll have, I them haven't seen them in a while. Since good that dudes. Part. Very, very good dudes. We bought their shirts. Fun fun, fun fact about the old AXW. So me and Steve went. We were wearing our our, our shirts, and we cut the sleeves off because you got to be extra redneck. Oh, yeah. And I was just in the process of growing my hair, so I kind of had like the wrestler look. <laughs> and I was wearing the sleeve as a bandana, and so was Steve. <laughs> And this guy walked up and goes, guys, the talent meeting is in the back right now. <laughs> That's awesome. And Steve's she like, did it. we're going. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to get kicked out before we get here. <laughs> um, but we almost snuck in the back oh, for man. a talent. Well, if you would have seen us in the talent meeting, what would you yeah. have said? Someone probably like, what are you two guys doing here? <laughs> I would have just looked at <laughs> Are you like, in the Royal? What the yeah. hell? <laughs> we could have Because I mean it. When you had your long hair No offense You looked like Shinsuke Nakamura Because I have Beat the lines yeah. <laughs> um, But yeah So they do a great job um, The first time we went Me and Steve got everyone With this oh, okay, We got yeah. the whole roster with that. We got the referees The ring guy Everybody <laughs> Then the second time we went Everyone gave Dave hugs Oh that was Yeah, yeah. Dave yeah. got the drink of beer With the Sandman And then man, Dave no. got the drink of beer With the Sandman I'm so jealous But it's one of the best pictures ever Dave's just, just accepting yeah. it Like Jesus And he's just <laughs> pouring it Down his gullet um, Yeah I I love I love it like and the cool thing is is that the pay-per-view they just did the show they just did they had no I mean no, Cortez yeah, but, yeah, but, but I mean they didn't have the like they didn't, name they didn't pull say, a legend yeah. like people came to see the match and you guys had a, you has a triple threat ladder match and it was awesome you guys did a great job the, the, the big Haas battle royal was fun um, the talent there is good it, it, I, I enjoy it I would definitely promote it if you want to go see it I, mean, I said it's very affordable you can bring the family out they serve food they Alpert have wrestling on Facebook yeah Alpert wrestling on Facebook I will have it all Bear this stuff will be yeah. on the descriptions. We'll hopefully we could jot them all down before we leave the places to watch wrestling. Um, we'll put them in the description. But so real quick, my main roster power rankings. Agree, disagree. You can hate me. I don't care. It's my rankings, not yours. It's mine. If you want to come on and debate me, you probably can't anyway because we have a full roster. You can comment in the sections. Um, number one, I give it to Seth Rollins. I think Seth Rollins is the number one power rank guy. I think he puts on great matches. And you want to talk about Kenny Omega at five stars all the time. Seth Rollins puts on. And when he was when he was doing the open challenge and he did the Ziggler, he did the uh, the Ziggler match was good. The, the match with Elias he did was good. He had a bunch of matches where he was putting on amazing matches on Monday Night Raw. He's my number one guy right now. Number two, Becky Lynch. Very close, number two. She's my number two. Number three, I only moved him up because he just won the title, Daniel Bryan. Number four, AJ Styles. He only dropped because of Rollins being consistent. AJ has been consistent as well, but I'm just sick of seeing AJ versus Joe. That's what kind of bumped him down. Number five has got to be Ronda. She's been dominating the whole nine. Number six, Braun Strowman. The, I mean, the only reason Brock, Brock has that title is because he didn't win it clean. So Braun Strowman's high up there. Number seven is the guy they're talking about for probably a possible title push, Drew McIntyre. Number eight, I got Brock Lesnar. The only reason he's not high is because I don't care about him. I'm sick of watching him. I put him on there because I gave him the champion respect, but I don't care. Number nine, The Miz. I think the guy's been busting his ass. He's been there the whole time. Uh, and my number 10 is Shinsei Nakamura. Honorable mention Elias because I think he's doing great on TV. Which, could you could you do a, could you could you rattle off a quick New Japan I, one? I, I could rattle off, if you want me to just do New yeah. Japan. I could do uh, WWE and New Japan if you want me to. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Let's so number, number one Becky Lynch. Two I'm gonna put AJ Styles. Three will be Daniel Bryan. Four will be Seth Rollins. Five will be Dean Ambrose. Six let's go with uh, Randy Orton because he's really doing well. Uh, seven. Let's give it to Buddy Murphy because he's doing great. Ooh. Let's see. Eight, nine, yeah. and ten. Uh, we'll go with uh, Jeff Hardy for eight. Nine will be the Miz, and ten will wrap it up with. Let's see who I think is doing pretty good here. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, I don't know. He's not doing good, but let's just give him mention Finn Balor. <laughs> so, Finn Balor? Yeah, that I like it. Number 10. So, New, New Japan right now, uh, number one, Kenny Omega. Two, Hiroshi Tanahashi. <laughs> three would be Tetsuya Naito. Four would be Kizuchi Okada. Five, uh, let's Minoru Suzuki. Six, Zack Sabre Jr. 
Seven would be Kotobushi. He'd probably be a little bit higher. I forgot about Kotobushi. Uh, eight, uh, Kushida, because he's the junior heavyweight champion. Nine, uh, did I say Minoru Suzuki? Yes, I did. Yes. So nine would be uh, Chris Jericho. All, they're yeah, all, yeah, they're yeah. all blended yeah. together for me. Nine, Chris Jericho, because he's the IC champion. He just beat Evil, and he's going to Tokyo Dome. And then ten... Uh, let's see. Will Ospreay? No, because Will Ospreay's hurt. He was going to have a, a never title match with uh, Hiroki Goto, and that's off the table now. So 10, we'll give it to... Um, I was trying to think who had a really good match recently. Uh, you know what? Since he has the belt, let's give it to Hiroki Goto. He is a never champion. So um, There's a name that keeps popping up in my two, t- time timeline, uh, a wrestler, and I have never watched him. Maybe you guys can incite me a little bit. Jay White? Jay yeah, White, oh yeah, Jay, Jay White, yeah, yeah. He uh, is he New Japan? Yes, he's only New Japan. He was in ROH for a little bit. He uh, first when he they brought him up last Wrestle Kingdom was his first uh, first New Japan match, and like since he was a young boy a trainee, so not, that was his first like main roster yeah. match you could say. He used and to wrestle up with uh, Finley's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, he wrestled Tanahashi, and his gimmick is he's kind of like a uh, knife murderer kind of. Okay. But, uh, he's like a Jack the Ripper. Yeah, yeah. It's like knife pervert they call him. But uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't working at yeah. the beginning. But now it was when uh, I don't know if you watched that match with him and Juice Robinson, and uh, when he suplexed uh, Jay White suplexed Juice Robinson into the thing and it hit Jr. and he fell down, broke his rib, and Josh Barnett was. Oh, like, that was that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I think that his character really started none, clicking. That wasn't even a spot. Yeah, that yeah. was just something he felt like doing. Yeah, and then they just. That's they, when they Josh Barnett off. actually went over to him and almost literally I think Josh beat his Arnett, ass. Yeah, Josh Barnett's a huge wrestler. Yeah, fan yeah, well, yeah. So uh, I think that's when Jay White really took off, and now he's uh, he's gonna wrestle. Uh, he, well, he's a new leader of Bull Club, and he's gonna wrestle Okada. So is it is it him and the Tongas? Yeah, yeah. So yes. Tama Tonga, and, and Tama big, Loa, and Bad Valley, Bad, Luck, Bad Luck Fale, and God forbid, don't get his name wrong or yeah, we'll abuse yeah, and, you. Uh, Taiji Ishimori, which is okay. a, he's a great uh, junior heavyweight. Cool. You, you got, I'll, I'll, I'll spit out the New Japan. I'll right. do a top five. I'm not, I'll, I don't think I can do ten. Uh, let's go with Becky, Drew, Daniel Bryan, Velveteen Dream, Cien Almas, oh. and um, Pete Dunne. I'll throw a six. So you're okay. doing, you do a little mix of NXT and yeah, yeah. yeah. So you want to do you want to do it to your your top ten? You can pick any promotion. Oh, man, I mean. There's just so much going on everywhere right now. I'm but just doing I, overall top ten then. Yeah, I mean, I'm if, just stuff if on TV. I'm gonna, I mean, with your list, I think for honorable mention for somebody who just came over to New Japan, you gotta give a lot of respect to Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb, yeah. Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb was doing great. I mean, he was only a couple matches so far. Right. And uh, I think he's gonna win the never I mean, title. He came week. into uh, ROH. He basically shut down the. Uh, Punishment Martinez. Yeah, he shut down title. Punishment Martinez, who was a big, big, strong, tough guy. Obliterated him in five minutes, took the TV title. He uh, basically shut down the top prospect tournament, because uh, usually Ring of Honor runs a massive top prospect tournament. Finds the next big thing, how they found out Josh the Goods Woods brought him in. He basically said, your top prospect's right here, shut down the whole tournament. Came in with his title shot, beat Punishment in five minutes, and now Punishment is at the Performance Center. Yeah, if you've never seen Jeff Cobb, just YouTube is, uh, Matt, he's a super strong if guy. He, he's, uh, he's, if you awesome. him, he's uh, the monster Matanza Cueto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, easily, Jeff Cobb is one of my top favorite wrestlers to watch right now, he, whether he's a face, a heel. He goes in there, he does his job. He's very sound. He's uh, an Olympic wrestler. I thoroughly enjoy watching what he does, but if I'm going to do an overall top 10, uh, Number one, of course, my shirt is going to have to be Kenny Omega. Oh. The guy just puts on so many matches that it's incredible to see. Uh, Seth Rollins is definitely number two. AJ is number three. Uh, Tetsuya Naito would have to be number four. Christina. Chris Jericho would be number five. Becky Lynch would come in at six, and the only reason I have her down there is because... She's a girl. It's not even the fact that she's a girl. <laughs> There's just so many matches that are going on right now that you just can't pick. The women haven't hit that level yet, but yeah. I think they're getting there. I mean, even though the PWI does their own separate women's yeah, top 100 yeah, compared top, to the top 500. It was 500. top 50, and now it's 100. Yeah. yeah. But now, the top 500 for PWI is just getting larger and larger. Like, several guys I know Andy's worked with personally have made that list. Which you could pay to be on. Yeah, which which, <laughs> which I don't care anymore. Once I found out you could pay to be on it, I was like, I really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and all you, the guys are like under like what do you think like two yeah. fifty? Yeah. If you know like, somebody that writes the magazine, you can get on and get. That's all politics. Yeah, yeah. There's like, no politics here. We go by our <laughs> pure opinion. So that's why I never filled out the thing, and I was like, I don't care anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, number seven would have to be Finn Balor. I mean, Finn goes out there, does his thing, always, always puts on a great match. Uh, eight would be the Miz. 
Nine would be Zack Saber Jr. I mean, this if you haven't seen the Cruiserweight Classic and what he can do, you are completely if missing out. If you like uh, submission style and very technical wrestling, right. Zack Saber will blow your mind. I you mean, watch the, the moves he can apply at the people. I mean, I've never seen people flex and bend yeah. in the ring the way he does. Yeah, it's almost like he's triple jointed. The orienteering with Napalm Death as his finisher is yes. crazy submission. And uh, my number 10 would definitely be uh, Jeff Cobb just because he's fresh coming into more of the mainstream wrestling to where everybody's going to see him now. I mean, when in Lucha Underground, nobody knows he's Matanza Cueto. I, I didn't know, actually, until I read it. I was like, I want that. <laughs> but uh, when he came in there, ROH won the title, like I said, five minutes flat. And now he's probably going to hold on to that title for a good little bit until they find somebody who's going to take it off his hands. Mm-hmm. But I feel he could be potentially a New Japan heavyweight champion. Possibly. Two years? Possibly. Mm-hmm. I mean, they don't usually like the guy gene winning yeah. the big belt, but Kenny Omega, is, like I said, has just done so much for that company right now that you can't not put the belt on a guy like him. One, three, five. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that, I mean, that's pretty much, that wraps up our show here. Wow. That was a, I guess, we just did a bike, didn't it? Yeah, we did an hour and 45 minutes. It goes <laughs> quick, right? Um, now, yeah. hang on. Before we wrap this up, I do have one thing for you. Go ahead. You're a big Shawn Michaels fan. WrestleMania tickets went on sale today with him coming out of retirement. AJ and Shawn at WrestleMania. I don't think it happens. I don't think it happens. I think, I think what they, I think the plans for Shawn, and this is just my opinion, Taker wanted Shawn to retire him the second time around. And Sean said, no, you're retiring me. I think Taker finally gets his wish, and I think Sean comes back and retires Taker. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I think Sean realizes he doesn't have it to go with the young guys no more. Everybody would love to see AJ Sean. Everyone would love to see Sean uh, Rollins, Sean Daniel. I don't think we get it because I think Sean understands that he doesn't want to ruin a push for some feuds and stop some momentum for a guy and have him wrestle an old guy. I think Sean goes in, he finishes Taker. I think they both walk off the ring together, and I think the last time we see them in, in the ring. I'd be fine. I don't want to see that match, but I'm fine with them both retiring. Yeah, like that. I'm okay with their that's my opinion. After that. I could be wrong, but that's my opinion. I mean, that's the match that the fans have been calling for for a little over two years now since that, they came I in. I mean, but Taker and Sting, everybody wants to see that. Sting still wants that. Yeah. Sting said he'll come back for that, but I, I'd like to see that in 2010. Unpopular opinion? I'm not a Sting fan. Really? I'm a big Sting fan. I love, I love Sting. Sting. Not I'm a Sting sorry. fan. Um, the last thing I want to close with, it is kind of wrestling related, and it's going to segue into our uh, video game show. Ooh. I just went out and Bought WWE 2K14. All right, I'm sorry. WWE 2K <laughs> 2K19. I'm very impressed with it. My very first match I did in the game was um, I did Ember Moon versus Naomi. Um, I think I just like Ember Moon. I, I was like, were you Ember Moon? Yeah, I was Ember Moon. <laughs> I think the I think the game. I think it looks clean. I think the movements a lot cleaner. I definitely recommend it. Another good wrestling game I'm playing right now is the Fire Pro yes. Wrestling. Very very good. It's a uh, hard learning curve at first. It is very hard. Or at least there's a tutorial. Like this. Yeah, there is a tutorial. So if you are a video game fan and you are also a wrestling fan, go pick up the. I would rec if you're a PlayStation Four and you like an exclusive. The Fire Pro Wrestling for New Japan Wrestling is is out there, and you can download um, anybody. And you can download anybody. You can download the me. champ. I made myself. So and he made himself, and it looks perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, you can go and download Andy, um, on on Fire Pro Wrestling, and hopefully you, you'll get if you download the. Uh, the uh, WB network, the WB one, you can make yourself on that yeah, one too. Yeah, I didn't get it yet. I eventually yeah. will. Sometimes Black Friday, you wait. Black, well, Black Friday. Friday on Xbox, it's the the WB game with the season pass is only forty five dollars. Very bad. So, and that's on Xbox. I don't know about PlayStation. Is that download only? Yeah, okay. digital only. Um, so that's out there, and you get the Woo collection, so you get the Legends pack, you get uh, the, all that stuff. I don't yeah. think you get Ronda. Usually the pre-order stuff that come out later for yeah. like five or six bucks, and you can buy it. Um, I think Ronda's still playable. Maybe they just didn't do that at all. But that pretty much wraps it up. The next show we got going on, I don't have my thing in front of me. Hang on, I think we got an MMA show and then I have an interview at the end of the month coming up with Randy I just shot an interview with my Graham that date for that is to be determined um I know what it is I'm just not telling you um it is coming very very soon so just just stay tuned to that interview with my Graham um I've Randy interviewed with my buddy Randy that interview will probably just go as long as this one because Randy's got stories for days that guy is crazy um I love him to death and then another MMA show and then wrapping up the end of this month is going to be our pop culture show. Um, 
I have Ben um, Nikolai back there. Um, if Andy can join us, he's he's also on that panel. We have a few. About pop culture. Yeah, uh, that's going to be video games, comic books, um, you name it. It's uh, movies, television, um, and we're doing a big dedication and tribute to we just lost Stan Lee. So there's going to be a big thing for him on there. Um, ben himself has met him a couple times. He's going to do some. I never did. I never yeah, did. he's going to do some research. He has some autograph books. He's going to bring and show us. We'll have them on display, just like your beautiful title. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know it was a longer show, but. When, when in the wrestling world we got a lot of cool stuff to watch and we have a lot of stuff to cover I know we didn't cover TNA I know we didn't do a lot of Evolve but it's just too much it's just a lot going on I don't watch we're trying to bring you the closest Impact. stuff yeah. Impact. we're trying to bring you the closest stuff that's happening this weekend is big for the main roster WWE and NXT so um, tune in if you're brand new to wrestling this is a good weekend to start if you're not thank you for joining in give us some likes some comments this will be uploaded to YouTube probably in a day or two so it'll be on YouTube this is a lot Live feed. It will always be available on Facebook, and then anywhere you can listen to podcasts: um, Spotify, iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher. I'm not quite yet on on Podbean, but I'm working on it. Um, Andy's also on a podcast yes. on Podbean. Yeah, calling it Power Ring. Just search podcast in Pennsylvania, and our my podcast will come up with my tag partner Matt Turner. We talk about comic books and pro wrestling. So he's like pretty this. much our pop culture channel yes. and wrestling <laughs> in one, and they do an amazing job. And you get a bunch of other wrestling podcasts too if you subscribe to podcasts yeah. in Pennsylvania. You listen to mine, listen to all of them, whatever you want. It's a lot of good stuff on there. I personally listened to it. I, I gave it a listen. It was Thank really you. good stuff. Appreciate it. Yeah. We didn't do so, one this week because my partner's on vacation. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> quick plug to me. This is a. Uh I usually every show, every everything I try to wear something that I, I'm passionate about or I like. Um, this is actually the guy who faced Andy in the ladder match. Uh, DB DB Craft DB Craft. Uh, he used to be part of the Mustache Crew and now he's like uh, weird. His entrance music is awesome. I love it. His he's a uh, like it's a, from Fallout. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a cool little gimmick. I like it. It's good stuff. Do you have anything you want to plug? No, I'm good. I'm trying to open up a brewery in Schuylkill That's County. I don't know when it'll be happening, but uh, hopefully sometime before 2020. They make <laughs> great beer. My favorite beer I had, I only had a little bit of it because your brother brought it. Um, it was Sissy gear, Milk or the Gears oh, the Ice Gears Tea? Ice tea. What, the, really? what was that called? Yeah, they made a Gears Ice Tea beer. <laughs> That's cool. around. That's cool. around. around. Yeah. 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 Do, you have, do you have a Facebook page for your yeah. brewery or anything? Plug it. Pilgaroo Brewing. Uh, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. And they do the the School County Brew Fest every year too. So tickets. It's be year number five. Tickets go on sale March 1st. Uh, yeah, he's got to wait for that. We'll have 30-plus breweries. Wow. Year five, uh, we're good to go. And the cool thing they did last year, especially if you're a wrestling fan, they made a championship belt. Yeah, for, I for the Scoop Series. Uh, we collab with a few breweries. Everyone votes on the best beer, and Thank whoever wins gets a title for the year. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's, it, and, and, they're, and they started with, what, Puff Promotions, and they started mm-hmm. off doing, like, different promotions and bringing bands in and doing that yeah, cool I stuff. I did that for about five years, and then I started doing the Brew Fest. Now we're in year five of the Brew Fest. And the rest oh, just keeps getting better. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's and cool. It, they do a great job. It's very muddy. It was very muddy, but it's a blast. Yeah, four out of the five years. I mean, well, we did four so far. Oh, so three out of the four have been muddy. Yeah. Uh, hopefully this well this year next year uh, brings nicer weather. Yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll we'll have all his stuff in the description on the YouTube page and stuff as well. Anything you want to plug? Um, I'm just gonna ask everybody if you get the opportunity, please go out and support your independent wrestling companies. Uh, we got some plenty uh, plenty of big shows coming up. Uh, Outbreak, we're on February. a little hiatus until February, so after the weather breaks, but uh, nobody's doing anything in January. Uh, and no, Andy works for his company, uh, PPW. PPW is this weekend. Yeah, that was PPW's actually, tomorrow. That's actually tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. tomorrow yeah. They have, Jack uh, Swagger will be there and Tessa Blanchard will be there. Ooh, that's Tessa right. Blanchard? Yes, and that will be in Hazleton. Yeah, Brian oh, Cage is there. Yeah. Do, do, I, do, I go, do I go there and then come home and watch NXT? December they have Drago, and then... Uh, in January, it's an uh, January twenty sixth is an all well, impact show yeah. with a lot of their big stars: Rich Swan, Sammy Callahan, uh, John, John Morrison, Morrison and Johnny Impact. Johnny, 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 Johnny Impact's gonna be Hazel. Yes, yes, that's, that's so, January. I want to go see Tessa Blanchard. So PPW on Facebook and pwentertainment.com. They do a great job. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see Tessa Blanchard tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, if you want to talk about the Charlotte Flair of the independent scene. Tess is up there. Tess is great. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, really good. I, I would love her to be on the main roster. She's, she's wrestling a girl named Christina Marie who has like all red hair, kind of like Ava Marie, and uh, she's really good too. So it should good. be a match. It's PPW tomorrow night. Check them out on Facebook, buy tickets, and uh, Outbreak, Outbreak Wrestling. Che- Outbreak uh, Wrestling. Facebook, there. Twitter, Instagram, Outbreak Wrestling. We are Outbreak. Check us out. Give us a like. Give us a comment. We'll try and... We're very affordable. Please come out and check us out. Uh, we'll be at the Temple Fire Company in Temple, PA, right outside of Reading in February. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
this guy right here will be getting ready for his I'll next I'll be wrestling somebody. Somebody. Um, there's no matches announced yet, so yeah. <laughs> you don't know have much to say. Just come to the show in February. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, and if and if you watch the podcast and you go to any of the Outbreak or PPW shows and see any of us, let us know how we're doing. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Do what you got to do with this. Get the word out there. We're gonna keep doing shows. We're gonna try to do this bi-weekly. So the MMA show will be one week. Wrestling show the next. MMA wrestling, depending on what happens. So I know closer Royal Rumble in January. We're gonna do an MMA show on a Thursday and a wrestling show on a Friday. Just because that week, like if we were to wait, we would have it's to do everything. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna do that close. Like I said, this kitchen has this studio kitchen has been used a lot. <laughs> kitchen. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we have a lot of cool stuff. The pop culture show interviews. A lot of cool stuff coming to the thing. I want to thank you guys for coming and, no and, and doing us. the doing the first episode. I, I hope you guys come back and keep going. I thought it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much, and we're gonna wrap it up. See ya.